It's just hard it's to have a there. conversation with the, the young ones, you know? Oh, I don't have a problem with it. And by the way, who's fucking having conversations anyway? Sorry, but I'm a real good lover. Body, yeah. I'm with the body, man. I'm with the body, yeah. I'm with the body, man. I'm with the body, yeah. This body, I'm with the body, man. I'm with the body, yeah. I'm with the body, man. I'm with the body. Run to the car. I pop a dick pill. Run to the car. I pop a dick pill. Run to the car. I pop a dick pill. Pop a dick pill. Pop a dick pill. Oh come on, man. She's so fucking hot. Oh come on, man. She's so fucking hot. Oh come on, man. She's so fucking hot. She's so fucking hot. She's so fucking hot. Look at her in a little fucking Lulu lemons. Look at her in a little fucking Lulu lemons. Look at her in a little fucking Lulu lemons. Lulu lemons. Lulu lemons. And then and then when she gets there, oh I didn't realize she was stuttering John. Holy shit. You know, you're like this, the hottest man in the world, you get laid all the time. I with the body, yeah. I with the body, man. I with the body, yeah. I with the body, man. I with the body, yeah. Look at this body, man. I with the body, man. I with the body, yeah. I with the body, man. I with the body, yeah. I with the body, man. I with the body, yeah. I with the body, man. I with the body, yeah. this body, man. I with the body, man. I with the body, yeah. I with the body, man. I with the body. Yeah, and, and then and then we continue having sex. It's a good one. I've been there. I literally think I drank 20 beers last night. Seriously. Party in my suite. Party in my suite. Vince and I might throw a party in my suite. Party in my suite. Party in my suite. Vince and I might throw a party in my suite. I'll be on the party in my suite. Party in my suite. Vince and I might throw a party in my suite. Party in my suite. I'm addicted. I'm addicted. I'll be on the proud. But yes, we're gonna have. 
annual party at the suite. Quid pro quo. Touche. I choose to remember those times. Can you show me a picture? I told the world. Chug a cause, cause here we go. It's time. Boom! We're doing it. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that. It's all fake. Welcome to the Shuli Network, Uncle Rico Show with special guests Carl Hamburger and. Anthony Cumia returns. Yes. Fuck the Shuli, fuck the Shuli Network and BS <laughs> show. They can go suck an egg. That's right. Well, that was back then. Times it was a different time. It was a different time. Uh, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Uh Kumia, it's so great to see you. My I mean, uh, my pleasure, uh, Shuli. Uh just hearing those songs, the pre-show uh, songs and everything, and and I forgot how how douchey the Stut Joe dancing around doing the sprinkler thing. I I, I need to be reminded every so often what a we, what an incredible untalented douche chill lump of shit that he really is. And and thank you for that. Uh, pleasure is all mine. And uh, Carl, I know you second that. I mean, you know the talentless. Piece I'm excited shit, but... that the three of us are together and Chad's not here. So I mean, it's unbelievable. Exciting. This is good. It, some say it could never happen, but he, mm. yet here we are yeah, defying we are. the odds. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Uh, please hit the like, hit subscribe, hit the no notification button if you don't mind so you know when we're live. And turn on accept gifted memberships. They are uh, the links in the description. Click on it uh, if you don't want to do it yourself. If you do... Five bucks or ten bucks. Let's get involved. Let's get in the mix. We got a lot to get to tonight. Mm -hmm. I know. I don't know how up to date you are in in the John verse lately, Anthony, because I know you've been taking care of more important shit, like enjoying life in the South now. Uh, <laughs> this so. is true, but I I do keep tabs on the dabble verse. It's uh, it's a thing, you know. I'm kind of attached to it. So I, I do keep uh, abreast of well, uh, Missy B on. was on uh, Point Devil Point yesterday. She did a yes. fantastic job. Everyone yeah. loves her on that show. I know. Yeah. It's great. She, oh. could, 
she could take that show over tomorrow and yes. nobody would miss us. I <laughs> Correct. mean, Correct. she's phenomenal. She's phenomenal. She's an expert, too, on all things uh, douchebag John. Yes. Are you worried that John might uh, add her to his mental Rolodex now? Uh, it would it would be uh, an honor. Okay. I, think, uh, <laughs> I, was, I, was, I asked her that arm. question. I go, how would Anthony feel? Because, you know, she jerks off to Keanu or he jerks off to Keanu now. Right. Yeah. I was yeah. like, how would Anthony feel about that? I don't know if she knew the answer. Oh, now, I, now I, we know. Both of us just wouldn't <laughs> even entertain it for a second. He's such a <laughs> nothing useless piece of garbage so and he lives up to the hype you know uh oh, yeah. I, I was supposed to be uh, at this gig tonight with the boys which they killed it i heard it was a phenomenal show everybody had a great time uh but i had a family thing come up i had to stay back and of course of course the one person who's baffled by somebody staying with their family and taking care of their responsibility is one guy who lives in a 500 square foot bunker surrounded by cat shit and his saliva. That's the guy. So yeah. I thought, uh, you know, I, he was okay. ranting and raving today about that. Uh, I, did you catch any of that, Carl? I tuned in for a second. So I got done with WATP today and I saw that John had done his show. And as I'm processing the audio, I tuned it in. And the first thing he says is, Shuli was never going to do this show. He's lying about his family. He couldn't <laughs> afford the plane ticket. There was no way he was going to do the show. And I mean, Shuli and I texted yesterday morning when this was going on because we were doing point devil point. So I knew all this was real. And I went, oh, this is maybe the lowest of the low <laughs> that John has gone to. And he's so confident in it too. Well, anytime, it, anytime he has to uh, pick someone apart like that, it, it's absolutely about himself he's of saying course. the things that he yeah. like he wouldn't have made the gig he would have uh blown off his family it, he wouldn't have something oh uh, i'm sorry my son's vagina is bleeding i can't come <laughs> to the show <laughs> I, I apologize. Like, he put out a tweet saying show me the proof of your flight and i and i wanted to tweet back but i'm blocked so i have no interaction with him <laughs> right right but i would have loved to have tweeted back uh you know what you caught me john Turns out I'm a pathetic loser piece of shit. I had a fan buy me a fucking ticket. <laughs> it, I didn't even pay for it. You fucking nothing. He said, there, show me proof. You had to call Vince crying. Please get me to Atlantic City so I can use my free room and wear three shirts and walk around the casino like a troll. What an idiot. You see that picture? Of him? He looks like one oh, of the fantastic. girls in uh, Atlantic City. His tits are drooping holding a beer he's like he looks like somebody's aunt a night out on the t it looked like someone like a big night out on the town and they have no clue of how to dress how to act <laughs> how to drink in front of people like just a, a an alien brought <laughs> to this planet that doesn't have any fucking clue how he's supposed to act or look and i could just see him prepping in the in the, the his his room his free room uh brushing his hair and getting all ready and looking in the mirror like, and imagining he might actually uh, land a girl and get laid and have a good time and, and people are going to enjoy his company. And meanwhile, none of that happens because he is, again, just a piece of fucking shit. I was talking to uh, Brian Johnson today after my show, and Brian went to Atlantic City on Sunday. He was down there at the Borgata with everyone. And I said, well, did you talk to John? Did you, did you walk up to him? He goes, no, but John looked across and looked at me, got up and started walking over. And I was like, oh, John's going to come over and say hi to me. And then he stopped, turned around and walked back to oh. his stool. So I don't know what's going on in his head. He's like, wait, is this, is this a friend of foe? Hold on. I know I've seen this guy on the internet. I think he was on <laughs> Kevin Brennan's show. Uh, I better not talk to him. He's probably, probably doesn't like me. Is yeah, that Santa Claus? I'm yeah. not sure. <laughs> right, Santa Claus. Yeah, yeah, that's his whole uh, mo. Is is that he he has to look around uh, and assess everyone? Do they hate me with right. a passion, or yeah. do they just tolerate? There's no one that likes him, so he has to actually think: Would would this person tolerate me being around them for for a minute or two uh, for some small talk? Or will they punch me in the face because I'm such a, a lump of shit? My favorite part of his assessment of AC 
was when he was talking about how, yeah, I was recognized <laughs> by everyone, not just Devilverse people, a lot of Howard Stern fans. John is unrecognizable. If you were, <laughs> if you watched the East show back in the day, you wouldn't see that goblin and be like, I think that's yeah. something John Belen does. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, his transformation is similar to the uh, Sammy Sosa. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Dude, yeah, you go, who's that white woman? They go, that, that guy, one of the best home run hitters of all time. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, I picture John walking to that circle bar. This is the movie. He goes, uh, he does it. Uh, oh, uh, uno cerveza, por favor. You know, oh, orders yeah. it. Then gets it, cracks it, turns his back to the bar and leans up against the bar and just kind of pe- scans the casino. But he's 5'5", five, five, so his neck is <laughs> leaning against the bar, not his back. But that's the move I see him doing. You know, yeah, let's yeah. see who's checking me out. Now I'll scope it out and see. <laughs> well, Patrick oh, Melton. someone's looking at me. There goes my night of peace and tranquility. <laughs> Patrick Melton was describing him on Thursday. So he was there before a lot of the other people were there on Thursday at the Borgata. And Patrick Melton was kind of keeping an eye on him. And he was just walking around the bar waiting for someone to notice who he was. He's just like yeah. trying to get recognized. Hey. <laughs> oh, how pathetic. That's his whole I life. mean. Jesus Christ. Uh, I got to get to some of these because everybody's excited that you guys are here. Welcome back, Kumia. Hey, did you know Mike was fucking John's mom? Yep. Right in the Asa. So this is a fun new thing that we've been doing is uh, we, we Mike took a picture of her from The Tonight Show because his mom and dad were on The Tonight Show yeah. um, and and has a room now that we call the love room. And uh each show, more and more people and things are added to this room. And uh, John, not a fan of it, turns out. He uh-huh. uh, doesn't see the humor in it. <laughs> I so, bet. Yeah. I mean, he's fine with yelling out my dead mother's name, but because Always. his mom's alive, that crosses the well, line. He also likes to call me. my wife old and ugly and show photos of her. And then he goes, why is Mike showing photos of, of my wife? Or my mom, my wife, my mom. Same she, thing for him. I know. Should I know? He, he did. He did talk about fucking her at one point. <laughs> she doesn't want to be on the internet. It's like okay. <laughs> yeah, he just uh, he he doesn't understand that he is one of the worst offenders when it comes to you know shit you really shouldn't do. Yeah. Uh, to people, the doxing bullshit and and uh, uh, the harassment. Uh, bringing shit into the real world type harassment and uh he he's you know the first one to get upset uh if somebody calls him a name or or mentions his kid which mm-hmm. he's done you know fair game sure uh but yeah then he'll say the most heinous things about your family members and whatnot and uh expect people to understand fuck him well, there's always the, an excuse there's always an excuse for yeah, his action yeah there's a reason it's an old it's an old story but i think it perfectly summarizes this is when that comedy club said hey we're getting threats so we're gonna get bad yelp reviews we have you on our show so yeah. we're gonna cancel the gig and john immediately went on his show and he said give that comedy club bad yelp reviews <laughs> It's like, do you not see what you're doing here, John? You're the asshole. <laughs> you're the asshole, exactly. How dare they? That's a good idea, actually. You know what, guys? <laughs> Let's do that to them. Right. You know? Uh, Nikki Gifted One. Thank you, my dear. I got a new Google Chrome. Uh, it's a champagne super noga, Bob. Look at that fancy hippo. Good evening to you. Nikki, grab your drink, get your puff. Let's go. Uh, Walt, thank you for the gifted. Appreciate it, buddy. Travel in the hospital. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hi, uh, oh, hi, Anthony. I mean, hi, Ant. Yeah, Mike. Mike. How you doing, Mike? Mike the Marine. <laughs> Marine, Mike, oh. yeah. Hey, Ant, Bosco or you bet? You bet! <laughs> <laughs> Finally, had our TSN baby. Love this universe. Hello from Columbia, South Carolina, and so much respect for you, sir. What was your take on Opie screwing over TSN? We have, we have yet to recover from that, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm sure of that. Uh, well, South Carolina guy, that's that that's cool. Uh, Donald Trump, of course, taking South Carolina in the primary today. I went out and you know just to kind of make it official that I live in South Carolina. I don't think voting does anything. I think it's all right. a scam, man. Uh, but, you know, I went in. I, I cast my vote for uh, Donald Trump 
Uh, and, you know, it's just something about this state. I, I, I do like it a lot more than uh, New Feel York it at home, City. It's good. It's especially, good, yeah. I mean, how, how nice is it just to walk out and just walk around? Uh, and, and it's just this peace of mind Dude, of like it is. getting getting out of that rat race and having it, that. Oh. It's fucking amazing. Like uh, me and Missy today, we went to uh, went into Greenville, had yeah. some brunch, you know, some nice eggs and a few of those uh, mimosas. And, everybody's uh, white. I mean, everybody's nice. Yeah. <laughs> and we're out, you know, we're out eating outside of the restaurant there. Yeah. Uh, a nice table. And there's a park and, and everyone like everyone's got a dog down here. So they're all walking and playing with their dog and there's kids. And <laughs> and it's just fucking astounding that <laughs> there isn't a, a, a savage clubbing someone over the head with a lead pipe. Uh, or push, pushing someone in front of some mass transit system. It, it's also it, just it, amazing what a what a different planet New York is that you don't realize till you get off of it. You know. Yeah. And and thank God I have to fucking fly back there tomorrow. For the <laughs> oh so, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. Look, me and Missy looking forward to that. So, whatever. Well, it's let's nice make to know, though. I have a place to come back to. Absolutely safe zone, if you yes. will. Finally. Yes. Uh, well, let's make tonight count then. Daniel, thank you for the 20 bucks, buddy. Appreciate it. Tommy, John isn't going to like this. I love it. Oh, no, he will not. Uh, Rebellion gifted one. Thank you. Give it away. Give it away. Give it away. Give it away. Yeah. Give it away. Give it away. Give it away. Give it away. Yeah. <laughs> Aunt, can you please solve the black community for us? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I've been working on it for years now. I'm almost there. Tease it for the second hour, guys. Tease it for the second At hour. At Anthony Kumi on Twitter. <laughs> yes, all the yes, answers. That's all you need to. Pulp Girl Gift in five. Thank you, my dear. Fuck, April fucking never comes. Uh, what a panel. I have nothing to add. Just take my money. Go Bills. Thanks, Michael, Michael P. P. Go Good Bills. man. Uh, Aunt, July 17th can't come soon enough. Yes. Yes. The uh, release of my book. Yeah. To, oh, yeah. Talk about that a little bit. Of course. Uh, Spare Me, my uh, second book, uh, huh? is coming out July 17th. You can pre-order it right now on Amazon.com. And, uh, yeah, it's it kind of takes off where uh, Permanently Suspended ended and it talks about uh, Compound Media, my uh, my stint with Artie Lang doing right. that, my uh, – getting in trouble and getting um, uh, sent to a rehab and arrested. And so it's all the, the fun and drama and with the, the kind of overlaying or underlying uh, theme of cancel culture and doing uh, radio or any kind of broadcasting in this uh, bullshit uh, age we live in of uh, not being able to say anything. So I, I yeah. saw a tweet uh, before we got on. Uh, somebody said, uh, Kanye West has a number one album and Shane Gillis is hosting SNL. Cancel culture is over. Yeah. Yeah, it really, you really know, is. that if you want to talk about lights at the end of the tunnel, uh, that's a great sign right there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm well, a Jew. I'm, I'm a Jew and I'm like, I like this song. I don't know. So dumb, like, about it. I, I love that Shane Gillis is painted as this conservative or this right. Republican. He's none yeah. of those things. None of He's it. a very liberal guy. He's hilarious. He's a great comic. He does an amazing Trump impression. Yeah. But he's not a pro-Trump guy, but it, it's crazy. He did an Asian accent once on his podcast, and everyone yeah. thinks, like, well, this is a staunch Republican who's now hosting SNL. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's, it, it, he's not. I mean, he goofs on the, the, the right in a way where it seems like he's – on the right, but you could tell it's parody and satire. But he also, like, he likes the idea of uh, republicanism and and conservatism. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it's not like he's out there campaigning for Donald Trump. You know, right? He's he's uh, he's non political, which is what you yeah want yeah. To he's be, just goofing right? on everything. Like, like George Carlin was not a Democrat or a Republican. Obviously. Right, right. That's what you want. Yeah, yeah, I think I think his party is laugh at the stupid shit I'm saying. Like yes. that's what he wants. Yeah, there you know, you go. that's it. Yo, yo, Aunt, what's up, my Noga, Beavis oh, Lee Ray? Thank no you. G around Beavis here. right there. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's going to be an awesome show with the three amigos, Shuli, Anthony, and Carl. Boom! The real world. Thank you. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank I'll you, be to the Jules. Dusty bottoms of this one. <laughs> Jules over here. Thank you. Gift in one. Okay, Maud Jules. 
No, no jewels. That's I not. Got a new Google Chrome. <laughs> Maud Levy, thank you, my dear. You look stunning tonight. Uh, WJS, thank you for the gifted one. Dix Insider, what a lineup. Love the hair, Carl. Fuck we were off, Dixon. We were oh, all yeah. complimenting Carl uh, <laughs> on how off. much younger and gayer it makes him look. Uh, <laughs> I love the frosting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it was Hughes who said I looked three months younger. Thanks. <laughs> three months. Awesome. Uh, he's such a dick, that Hughes. Uh, the amount of time I've spent over the last three months on the Uncle Rico show would be a legitimate reason to question my priorities. Well, thank you for... Uh, making the descent into madness. Anthony, how could you then on John? Uh, how could you then on John like this? Ah, uh, something got misspelled, but yeah, I got I you. Don't know. Uh, fake chatter here. Apparently, according to Mr. Brennan, uh, said this is fake. Oh, OK. Well, Bob's fly, baby. We've known you for quite some time. Uh, K KB is everything that's real in this world. AI. Gotcha. Gotcha. Good to see you alive and kicking, Ant. Glad for this show. In a rut. Thank you, in a rut. Frankie with the 50 bucks super sticker. I didn't even know they had $50 super, super stickers. Sticker. Carl and Anthony. Wow. God bless America. Ant, can I get a Dice, Andrew Dice Gay love for another man, please? You know, there's nothing better than a hairy man's ass. It's, I don't know how you could appreciate women. When there's cocks and balls out there. <laughs> uh, what's his line? He goes, he sees another guy's hairy ass on the beach, and he goes, I'm not leaving till I get that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta have that. <laughs> uh, I Hey, Jad Allen, the professor, thank you very much. I miss Bob and Mike, but these two talented humans are a damn fine replacement. Love both Anthony Kumia and... <laughs> Joey Heatherton, Joey. have a great show. <laughs> That's a professor. He is. Uh, he's got a funny. few years under his belt with a Joey Heatherton reference. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, guy's good. Good to see you, Frosted Tips and Boss Man. Just uh, re-upped the sub on Compound Media. Thank Fat you, White sir. Sack. Yes, we're back Thank in the you. New York studio uh, on Monday, so Ooh. we're doing uh, shows from New York. Nice. I yeah, like that. might as well do something constructive while I'm in that shithole. Yeah, so this will be an hour about your walk from the station <laughs> to the <laughs> yeah. studio. All right. I'm right, right. You know, see? Carl knows the show. Gino's got to put on his bosses in town headbands. Oh, hey, Bobby! Right. Hey, yeah. Bobby hey, destroyed boss. tonight uh, in email us. I love yeah, you, Bob. Uh, if, if, I notice, uh, if I notice Gino's lips are chapped, I'll put some chapstick on my ass. <laughs> hey look who's back ladies and gentlemen a new member by the name of david chandler behind my paywall and then he just goes out and gifts 20 uh, memberships like that look at you man. come he's on the best. Mm. he's the best i swallow come thank me oh. <laughs> we haven't seen chandler in months and then he I'm showed up on uh who are these socials thursday night and said i just can't quit you guys he showed so up on your show it. Well, he showed up giving us a hundred dollar super chat. Wow! I hadn't, I hadn't seen Chandler just... in a while, so that's that's awesome. He was at uh, DabbleCon a year I ago. Know. He, he love that man. Uh, DJ Dabbles, the man behind the music that you hear in this intro, uh, that are amazing. Oh, this is fantastic! A... Then uh, my, yeah. hats off, my friend. Those were uh, those were awesome. I listened you to them. I just sat here going, "These are fucking great." And Anthony, like we do, like we could literally do a twenty-minute intro with just his song. They're all good. the new one. I love it. It's uh, the Dues Payer. Yeah. I don't know if you got. Can you play that, uh, Froggy? I think he's gonna play it here. DJ Dabbles. This is almost the exact same lineup as the WATP DC trip breakdown that served as my Dabbleverse intro, and I was instantly hooked. Welcome back, Ant. Thank you, sir. Oh, listen. Or the pictures I was supposed to see. Tell me some pictures, Scorpion, the frog, or the turtle, whatever. What's the potato to frog? Scorpion.
puppy and says to the frog, hey. And they're at the foot of the lake, foot of the river. Scrawny says, hey, Mr. Toad, give me the ride over the river here. I gotta get to my wife, get to my wife. And the frog says, are you kidding me? You're gonna sting me. I'm not. You have my word. And then when the frog takes Scorpion, they're almost the end of the river right there. The Scorpion stings the frog. And the frog says, but you gave me your word. Scorpion goes, hey, it's my nature. That's surely. That's in his nature. That's in, that's in, that's in his nature. It's a Tuesday, I mean, wow. He just takes, he just takes drops. All right. We heard it. Shut it off, frog. You're fired. You're fired. They're catchy. Yeah. Uh, you know, musically, they're just catchy. And, and, and visually with the, the video clips uh, and, the and the moronic lines that John uh, is saying. You know what it, you know what it, it reminds it, me of? Oh. It reminds me of uh, shit like this. Yeah, give it one. There's been so many songs where someone just says something ridiculous and they just put it to music and it's the catchiest song of the year. It's crazy. That that was fantastic. Yeah, he he is a legit genius. Uh, we're all in agreement. The great DJ Dabbles. Check him out on YouTube. Dabbles with a Z. Go support the man. He's brilliant. And Carl Shuley, Murderers Row, Frankie, 50 bucks. Thank you, pal. Nice. Iowa Dabbler, you are the holy trinity of the Dabbleverse. I bow to you three. Love you guys. FSJ, FKB. Thank you, Iowa Dabbler. All right. Uh, I got to get to this package because these guys got to go to bed and then we got to goof on John. I love the people in the Midwest. Was yeah. Howard Stern on in these markets or Opie and Anthony? I mean, I realized when they went to the satellite, maybe, yeah, yeah. but it's, it's crazy to me how many people are in the Midwest and Europe and shit watching this. It's awesome. It, it's this dabble verse. Uh, it may not be friendly, but it's growing. That's for <laughs> sure. Dabble verse is not fucking friendly. I know, John. All right, let's get into this. This is uh, uh, what package we got here, uh, Froggy. So this is from Thursday. This is his political show, which we normally don't watch, but this one was pretty good. Oh. All right, I like it. Let's get into this. This is great. We got Ann here, so we can get political. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll get to yeah, because <laughs> John I has a lot it. of. It's going to be a hot debate. John has a John, lot of strong point points. You. They call him <laughs> uh, political take. It's fair so and difficult. balanced Melendez, they call him. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, in Trump's defense is one of his catchphrases. <laughs> Wait, that reminds me. Did you see this tweet that's going around where he's retweeting something from Brian Karam and he calls him a racist? His buddy I'm Brian, not... he calls a racist? Yeah, I could have sworn. If somebody can drop that in Discord. I know I saw this today. Also, somebody tweeted out a now I don't know if this is accurate, but an email where they reached out to Susanna, uh, oh. John's ex. And uh, I'll read this to you guys. Uh, Hi, Susanna. Uh, a group of Stern fans would like to offer you five thousand dollars for an interview to talk about John's indiscretions and pain he has caused due wow. to his constant hypocritical ramblings and attacks on innocent people via his podcast let me know if you're interested wow. and then there's a reply now i don't know if this is actually from her but this is what she writes i'm going to have to pass on this you are so kind to offer me this opportunity i appreciate and wish you all well can't believe anyone even remembers me thank you Susanna. so yeah so here's the tweet mental decline is a hell of a thing and then he retweets and says racist prick. Now, I don't know what the link is to that story. Maybe he's commenting about the story that he's tweeting about, but it looks like he's calling Brian Karam a racist prick. Yeah. So I was like, what the hell? What's going on here? Now, as far as the Susanna email, I got to say, like, if you're going to reach out, which I don't think really anybody should, but I'll reach out now since somebody already made contact. I, I, you tell me your number. Susanna, and we will do an honest and fair interview. I'm not looking for you to shit all over the guy. Just come. You give us a number. 
we will make that number a reality. What do you think of that? I love it. I'm I'm happy to to pitch in on that. Also, that I want to talk to yeah, Aaron. that would be a great take. I would like to hear that. I Aaron. want to Aaron because it recently came out that Aaron reached out to John. So Aaron is Susanna's new husband. Aaron reached out to John and said, "Hey, John, don't talk about us or the family ever again." I love you, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> and John's response was to block Aaron. <laughs> He said he pretty much told him to fuck off and then blocked him. So I was not about how this. many movies have been made where the wife moves on with a new husband and family and that piece of shit ex-husband just keeps coming back. And the, the new husband has to sometimes punch him in the face yeah. or at least get on him and tell him, hey, you know, you screwed up. This is my family now. That that's the John situation. Well, hey, where it, are the women at? And the, the, the crazy thing was is that John was telling the story about how he wanted to go over to their house for Thanksgiving because the way that the separation agreement is written up is that he has the kids one Thanksgiving and then they have uh, her their mom's house the next one. And John's making beer can chicken. He doesn't have a, a dining room oh, table. Yeah. You know, so he's just like, hey, maybe we'll just do it at your house and I'll just come over. And Aaron goes, no, definitely not. And he thought, took that as a slight, like, oh, Aaron's an asshole. It's like, no, they the just whole- don't. The whole Watch thing we're thankful for is that we don't have to see you. <laughs> right. Why yeah. do we want to have you over? <laughs> yeah. And so, you know, I, I was watching him going, a family emergency. I'm like, this guy's family emergency is when he shows up to see his family. It's an emergency. <laughs> Everybody fucking calls 911 says, gets this alcoholic out of no. here. <laughs> you know, maybe if you were stayed home a couple weekends, maybe, you know, you wouldn't have a kid who can't find food and, and, and one that needs oh, surgery yeah. and like, you know, Jesus Christ, try it. You tried it that way. Didn't exactly uh, create bang up results. So, you know, try it a different way. Anthony Cumia can access funny faster than anyone. Patrice O'Neill. Quote, fact. Did he just write that? Is- <laughs> he did. He did. Supposed to say, turn on John's stupid YouTube. Yeah. Oh, tur- Cumia is now turned on John. Yeah. A lot of people oh, do. turned on John. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I looks like you. he turned on me. Yep, sounds yeah. like he turned on me. There it is. Yeah. Eden asked. Thank you for becoming Behind a member. my paywall. Let's get into the package, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Uh, let's see. Hey, buddy. How are you? How's everybody doing? Good. 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 Uh... <laughs> Again, the only guy I know that's winded from touch it, hitting go live with a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's just yeah. exhausted. <laughs> That's great. School. Ah, uh, wonder what's in there. <laughs> oh, wow. Grabbing like some OJ in the morning. <laughs> That's how I drink oh, OJ. God. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody do a fucking chugging contest with orange juice? This guy's a ringer, I actually, dude. I, I put a, a wrench through the, the bottom of it and then pop the top. <laughs> Uh, hey, hey, hold my feet while I do a headstand <laughs> and drink this orange juice. <laughs> uh, went to the dentist. Oof. Hazard Tried to day. adjust my hugger. For those of you who want to see what a hugger is. Whoa. Whoa. What do you, enough about why Anthony left New York. Relax, John. <laughs> that. Why was that in your pocket? What? Why is that in his pocket? Shouldn't that be in his mouth? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, yeah. It's a, like a bridge or a tooth or a denture. Oh, right. look at his fucking nails. I know. <laughs> oh, my so, God. God. It's so Damn, disgusting. why did I put my glasses on? <laughs> <laughs> I need this blurry. I need <laughs> this blurred or pixelated. <laughs> Damn you, Vision. Uh, look at those. Na- it's like he's been changing transmissions all day long. Like, what Holy is he doing? Shit. Wow. And he's holding something that goes in his mouth with these disgusting <laughs> nails. That's been but in his pocket and is somewhat cleaner than his hand. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible. So <laughs> that goes into your mouth to keep the teeth from pushing in. On the tooth that had to get pulled. Then why is it in your pocket? What are you doing? A, a, a fist oh. should be what's pushing in his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me put it in my back pocket for safekeeping. <laughs> About 500 bucks. 
but uh, <laughs> well, it's a good thing it's in your pocket, loose. It's just sitting there, idiot. Money with him. It's uh, money. I could see him putting that up at the bar. Give me some cores <laughs> here. This is bilateral. You go, John. I need. I, can I borrow twenty bucks? All I got's five hundred huggers. <laughs> That's all I got. Pain in the ass. When I went to the supermarket, I loaded up. Just made bacon and eggs. Love it. No bread. No bread. <laughs> bacon? Yeah. Bacon and eggs. He goes, I'm on a strict diet now since he saw what he looked like in photos from Atlantic <laughs> City. So he's on this health kick that applies to everything he eats, but it doesn't apply to the 19 to 25 beers a night that he consumes. Yeah. Still. <laughs> like, and the- I can even vouch for the fact that uh, – an unbelievable amount of beer on a nightly basis isn't the greatest thing for your health. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I tried that plan for a while and it's a, it's not a good thing. So, you know, may, maybe he should uh, eat some bread and, and not drink uh, 15 beers a night. So John thinks he's on a keto diet, obviously, if he's saying right. this, he's like, oh, I, I, obviously I'm not going to have toast. That would be crazy. But it's what is like every night a cheat night when it comes to course lights. <laughs> I can, I can do this between 4 p.m. and 10 p.m. Obviously, that's my cheat time. Oh, and he's been starting his days with insure, which oh. is like, I mean, it's unbelievable. We have people in the chat that their parents are battling cancer and they're like, this is what they this is their their, you know, meal. Basically, it's like, it's like yeah. 2000 calories in an yeah. eight ounce can. It's yeah. the worst thing you could do if you're trying to lose weight to get healthy. <laughs> yeah. Really trying to watch my uh, caloric intake. I've got here somewhere. <laughs> he goes, hold on a second. I got to pause it. Okay, so I gave the benefit of the doubt and thought keto. He was eating bacon and eggs and said, I'm watching my caloric intake. Yeah, that's the opposite, asshole. F- followed by, I'm covered in cat hair. <laughs> the calories in bacon and eggs. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. What an idiot. Uh... I, I also buttered my bacon. Uh, I'm watching the calories. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. No bread. <laughs> no bread. Really trying to watch my uh, caloric intake. I have cat hair somewhere over here. <laughs> somewhere. somewhere. But um, it's 500 square feet. There's two cats in him. You got cat hair everywhere, yeah. fuckface. He's Not never somewhere. vacuumed once. Yeah. Right. He's got litter in his socks. You talking about cat hair. <laughs> I got it. Please. I have a dream. Yeah. Uh, Trump and you should have a dream for a thousand square feet place. <laughs> that, forget about Trump getting arrested. That's your dream. Ventilation should be a dream. Handcuffs. <laughs> That's what my dream is. And it's I'm going to have Brian Karam and the great army major Rich O'Heater on in a little oh, while to discuss some politics. See what's going on. But before then, I have some time. And after, I'll have some time to give my thoughts on the recent developments of the Dabbleverse. <laughs> he thinks he's standing in front of a podium. like <laughs> People are waiting to hear his <laughs> dumb fucking thoughts about the Dabbleverse. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I will address all your questions in a moment. But first, where shall we begin? Every show, he he doesn't know where to start. Every show, he has to ask where where what what should I talk about? Yeah, where should we begin? He's riffing, you know. Remember <laughs> He's how, feeling it. Remember how Howard used to kind of start the show with a monologue? Right. Yeah, you know, not not a technical technically a monologue, but he would kind of just riff about whatever was going on in between leaving the show the previous day and coming on the show the next day, and. uh you know, of course, he thinks he's clever enough to do something like that. And, well, he's been proven wrong many times. Well, Howard would always say, Robin, where do we begin today? Knowing yeah, exactly yeah. what he's going to talk about right. for the next 50 minutes. Yeah, but I think he was prepared. He was I totally he prepared. He knew what he was going to be right, right. About. He'd be like, wow, I don't even know where to begin today. Where his judge is like, I literally do not know where to begin I today. Don't I don't know where to begin. Right? <laughs> I can't believe 3 o'clock stuck up on me like this. I had no idea. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the episode of John's show where he starts like this. Hey, da, 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 da. 
What's going on, uh, Kate Meany? What's what's happening with you? <sighs> Look, Stevie Lou. <laughs> hey, did you guys! Hey, did you guys hear about this? I, uh, I'm a big fan of Blow. I don't know if you guys read that. Yeah, you guys, yeah. oh you guys know who my best God. friend is? It's Chad Zubach. Do you guys hear about uh, this? Oh best my God! The other day, I rolled up a season and desist and snorted coke with it. I mean, it's unbelievable. You guys should <laughs> oh, try it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I mean, he's a loser. He's a coward. He's a Kevin Brennan. Porn. This is Stevie Lou. Somebody's not- somebody super yeah. chats. I'm not going to run it to Kevin's show because I love Kevin Brennan. He <laughs> is not a hack like the deuce payer is. Puppet. <laughs> and that's all he could be. So there's really no need for me to pummel the guy anymore because internally he's already pummeling himself. Oh. So why should I pile on to that mess? Yeah, that's that's solid logic right there. Yeah, yeah. So I'm can just going to leave. Can I blame yeah. Anthony for all of this? I don't know if you know what's going on now with Kevin Brennan controlling all of these losers' lives with his hundred dollars <laughs> that he pays them for an appearance. But it's all okay from you throwing Kevin Brennan a hundred bucks every yes, Thursday $100. just for transportation. That's- like, hey man, you're coming from uh, Jersey City. Here's a hundred bucks. I know it's not easy to get here. And then yeah, Kevin turned yeah. it into, oh, $100 all I'm worth. Well, I'm giving Stevie Lou $150. Yeah. What do you think about that? It's like, this is the same amount of money, Kevin. No one cares. What's the difference? Yeah, he's pitting them against each other. I saw it on uh, Who Are These Podcasts. I saw him on your show talking about it. And I'm like, yeah, that's that's what he's doing. He's, he's playing everyone against each other to um, – get them pissed at each other so it gives him a little more material so it's, it's insane. Sort of brilliant it, well i guess i mean if you can manipulate people for 120 dollars at a time then yeah go yeah, for it. That, yeah. that's fun but i appreciate people like tukey and myself and people are just like yeah i don't need your 100 bucks kb it's fine i can live my life yeah. outside of getting uh a 300 from kevin brennan in a month <laughs> It is amazing how full circle now everybody's following whatever he tells them for a hundred dollars where he walked out and started a show at four o'clock to piss you off yes. because of a hundred dollars. Yeah, because of one hundred dollars. Right. It was, it wasn't enough. Yeah. And now and now I'm a cunt because we do a show at four o'clock. And he's like, Who would do that? You did, you fucking asshole. I <laughs> know shit. Uh, Brock Mac and Cheese just left the email us show. Surely was missed, but the boys did great nonetheless. High pitch Eric was cited. That's not difficult. Thanks all. Thank you, Brock. Nine month member, pal. Appreciate it. Awesome. Uh, for the failing network. Sup, Anthony. Love you. Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> uh, it's a dabble versus all star lineup. Carl, do you feel responsible for E Rock's uh, d- dereliction of compound producer duties? left ant to hang in the wind on monday yeah i i do control e-rock i give him 120 bucks and tell him what to do <laughs> yeah <laughs> wow 100 bucks it's twice uh, what i'd pay him <laughs> yeah <laughs> and uh and was the reason i found the shuli network much love shuli you are a better man and father than knuckle dragging missing link stuttering john <laughs> i mean i think you just got to be there to be a better father than him at yeah this point. yeah wow you know uh and welcome back mason in portland thank mason you. in portland and magellan gift in five thank you magellan bucks. thank you mason gift in another mason five in looney tunes some have said that chip is not just opie but also stuttering john and they cite the fact that norton has declined any invitations to trash stuttering john on the grounds that they're actually friends and comment uh, I don't, you know, know who uh, Jimmy's friends are. I, I can speculate. Uh, Jimmy's just what? What do they call it? Oh, a nice guy. <laughs> he just—he's a sweet Jimmy boy. Just doesn't. And you know, I guess personally, John hasn't shit on on Jimmy. Uh, and so you know, Jimmy doesn't have a real any real reason to uh, shit on John. That's fine. I love Jimmy. He's well, a good. He's a good man. My buddy Christian Blatt was bringing up recently that. It's not really Chip, but Doug Bell 
is very much stuttering John. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, with the stories of celebrity. <laughs> yes, uh, it used and, to be oh, funny. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know. That, and yes. Living Doug in the Bell past. A little more. Yes. Well, the, the awful nicknames that Doug threw. Yeah, that, that, that's yeah. what does it for me. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, what does he call Bobby Kell? B. Kells, he calls him. Oh, uh, uh, douche. Uh, great lineup, but I miss Bob. Love you. We all miss Bob, of course. Yes. Uh, anytime you think Stuttery John can't go lower, he breaks out the backhoe. Look at that. <laughs> All right, let's get back. Leave me alone. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, fuck. Deep down, he knows I was a good guy to him. In his stone mind, he tries to tries to rationalize his behavior and, you know, calling me shit that I really didn't deserve. But I don't <laughs> give a shit anymore. I mean, it's Stevie Lou. Only a tad more significant than Ray DeVito. Uh, I'd question that, but okay. <laughs> but he he's in this weird phase where love and appreciation from other men is very important to him right now. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Especially Kevin. I mean, there was an episode a while back where Vince was on and literally said to him, you, you, like, you have a crush on this guy. And he didn't say... Shut the fuck up. What do you say? He goes, What do you think he likes me? What do you mean? I think his response was, He's very charming. I think he said that. (laughs) So there's this weird thing where I feel like he sees Kevin as Howard right now. And so the way he would let Howard say anything and everything to him is the same with Kevin. He yeah, will let yeah. Kevin walk all over him and he'll go. But, you know, at the end of the day, he's a good guy and he likes. Him. Well, you yeah. brought this up on the show and it was spot on. John's role on the Howard Stern show was he would observe and then report back to Howard. He'd be like, Gary Del Abate was eating shrimp and his big teeth. And, uh, and then they would do an hour on that. <laughs> yeah. So now he's going on Kevin Brennan's show and going, Ray DeVito changed his clothes during halftime of the Super Bowl. He came down wearing a different sweatshirt. Let's all goof on Ray DeVito for an hour. And then Jack can be part of the clan like hey yeah we're all goofing on you i'm not the one getting goofed on right now yeah it's a hundred percent he's he's definitely adapting by uh dusting off the old playbook yes and saying i'll I'll try this here i think he's also scared uh of kevin like kevin yes unlike everyone else who kind of has a line might not step over a line where it comes to insulting john or his family believe it or not you know, we don't just go right for the jugular right. uh, at the drop of a hat, uh, but Kevin will. So yeah. I think John just goes like, oh, I better, better at least fake that I respect this guy or like him or, you know, don't well, his, shit on by him. His latest thing of why he's done fighting with Kevin and he and basically backing down is because he says Kevin's the only one that won't talk about family. Oh. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, Kevin did two hours of my wife on one yeah. show. What's he, what's he talking about? <laughs> but that's you. It doesn't count. It's fine. Okay. If it's that's you. Fine. Yeah. Oh Come God. on. Uh, look at this. Eugene, I'll chip in a thousand for Suzanne or thank you, Eugene. You're in. It gets me every time. <laughs> Some iced coffee from Starbucks with a little whipped cream on top with Splenda note sweetener. And, um, oh. <laughs> so uh yeah so that, and also, then, that's part and of then... his low calorie diet <laughs> whipped cream on top whipped cream because i'm yeah. watching my caloric intake so A whipped cream Starbucks on top of coffee <laughs> with splendor <laughs> and oh and sprinkles i forgot to mention the sprinkles <laughs> fucking idiots uh, <laughs> what a, be a man what are you doing hey bobby oh look at that Get in here. Send him away. Then you get to fucking <laughs> NBA Ray, who truly is another nobody. First of all, I love Ray. I love <laughs> Stevie. You know, I don't think Brendan will be pissed if he came on <clears throat> right now. <clears throat> Especially after considering that 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 Kevin and I had a good time last night. Oh, and I really oh, can't associate. Dude, isn't that like a week ago? Yeah, yes. yeah. Now, I was that's I was thing. looking at the date, thinking like, wait a minute, that's like yesterday. <laughs> People always tell me they go, "Man, Frog stays up late at night, going back and back into the yard." I go, "What are you talking about?" He goes, "He goes forty eight hours back, yeah, and he play and he hard. hits play." Yeah, yeah. Why do you think he's making nothing? This is easy. What he's doing. 
I hear, I heard him go, I saw John stand up. Yeah, everybody saw that. That was about, <laughs> what is that, about eight years old at this point? <laughs> he thinks he just uncovered something. And again, it was from a shitty gig. It was edited in a bad way. This is my favorite. Let's hear how someone edited his stand up in a bad way. Check this out. Shot Are from we- the side. <laughs> you know, have you ever laughed at a comic from a profile? No, you haven't. <laughs> well, hold on. Gotta, though, surely, yeah. if they took the tags out, then that would definitely ruin the stand up bit. Let's see what he says here. All right. And they took out tags. Oh, oh well, there you tags. go. <laughs> Wait, I like that they took them out and they just left them, too. Listen <laughs> yeah. to me. Side. And they took out tags or just left tags, took out punchlines. It was. What? Yeah, they took out punchlines. No, you gotta you gotta take out the setup and just leave it the tag. Yeah, he doesn't even know what he's talking about. I have a feeling he didn't perform well, and he was the one who left out the tags and the punchlines. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I remember his, his opening bit was "How we doing?" But I have to. I remember that was his first <laughs> joke, and people were they were scratching their head. They're going, "I don't." I, yeah, you're missing. I feel something like there's something sense. missing there. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Knock, knock. You've been great. Good night. You know, just, it, I don't get it. it and certainly... also we're side stage, so he's not funny. <laughs> right? Yeah, <laughs> the, they were taking the video from the wrong angle. That's why he wasn't funny. <laughs> Turn this way so we can laugh. <laughs> and, you know, I didn't want to be there at some barbecue joint and fucking Temescula or whatever. That, oh. Temecula, whatever the fuck that is. So it wasn't See? exactly. Uh, something that I would you know, be proud of in any way, but I did the Wait a minute. He screamed at me when I goofed on him and I said, you, how can I play the potato bar that you played? What did he scream at me, Frog? It was a barbecue restaurant. <laughs> no, that's what it was. Thank you. <laughs> now it's something he's not proud of. Got it. Well, Got also, it. if you are a working comedian, as John claims to be, the last thing you would ever say is, well, I didn't take it seriously because I didn't like the venue, so I didn't perform very well. Right. That's how performers do. <laughs> right. I am at night. the community. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I played a band. I've never shown up at a gig and been like, I don't like the PA system here. I'm going to play all the wrong notes. Yeah. Waitress didn't put ice in my drink. I'm just going to go up and say the N word for 45 minutes. Well, no, I mean, Gino would do that, but I wouldn't. That's I true. Think that's crazy. That's true. Sorry, Gino. Don't you know, sue me. Know, I'm not he, trying to steal your act. Go ahead. Yeah, he just, uh, another thing, he doesn't care. And then he goes on to explain why the video isn't good and yeah. why it, it, people would might think it's not funny. Uh, <laughs> he cares very much. It's like he opened a show the other day going, you know, this idiot, Shuli, is still claiming I didn't graduate from university. And he goes, and it's meaningless. Like, it means nothing. And then the next 30 minutes is him yeah. re- recapping every muttering J tweet about him. Gra- Meanwhile, go to NYU. Look for his name as a graduate alumni. Not there. Doesn't exist. Your move. Well, and going back to the comedy thing, him and Chad Zumach have a, a similar argument. Because Chad was just at a show in Atlantic City, and people recorded it and played it back, and they went, it's not very good. And Chad goes, well, it's my old material. And John says the same thing. Well, you're looking at my old material. Wouldn't your old material be honed and better? (laughs) Wouldn't that be your best stuff if it's your old material that you're doing? Why do you have no confidence in it? Yeah, no, it is the most polished. That's for sure. Yeah. Job, I got laughs, but it doesn't matter. Who was Ray DeVito to comment on anyone's stand-up? I mean, good point. his stand-up is atrocious. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Ray's a good guy, man. I've always liked Ray. I love Ray. Ray, Stevie Lou, Kate Meany. Uh, Stevie Lou, I thought, was my friend. He backstabbed me. And <laughs> if he weren't atrocious, and he had been doing it for as long as he says he has, then shouldn't he be headlining all over the country? Shouldn't he be at least at the bare minimum make a living doing it if he was that scary good so again it's not worth my energy but meanwhile uh, along those lines so he's in atlantic city he goes to gino and chad's show he's sitting there in the audience he's a professional comic he's been doing it for years 
why not go up and do five minutes and, and yeah. just say hi to the crowd? It's easy. It's no heavy lifting for you. You're a pro right. at this. Just pop in, pop out, do a Bob Hope, you know? Just jump in, say two, three jokes, and get out of there. Nope. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. He refused to be brought up on stage. Does not want to go up. And well, do I don't want to take away time from Tony Mazer, obviously. Yeah. That, would, <laughs> that would suck. I love how he says it's not worth his energy. What What energy? This energy? Give <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. this him? energy. <laughs> <laughs> Which energy him, is it? Yeah. You ever see him walk back from anywhere else in that apartment to that couch? I mean, it's it's like he just climbed a mountain. It, yeah. It, it's unbelievable. <laughs> to go after these small people. Now, again, how many times can we have Ray DeVito on? Seriously. How many fucking times, Kevin, <laughs> can you have Ray DeVito on? No one fucking cares about Ray DeVito. Nobody. No one gives a fuck about him. This is how lame Kevin Brennan is. He, he's got to have Ray DeVito on? Who the fuck is giving a shit about Ray DeVito? Ray DeVito's mother doesn't give a shit about Ray DeVito. These small... <laughs> it was a bad one. ...in a pond. I choose to learn from Napoleon. Oh. oh. He's the, the same chocolate, height. vanilla, Napoleon. and strawberry ice cream. <laughs> 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 Get the ones from Vaughn. They have the best one. Wait, I got to hear the smugness in that. Yeah. I choose to learn from Napoleon. So, you know, we saw the movie recently. I think. So yes. His 100%. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> I choose to learn from Gladiator. Yeah, right. <laughs> We could all learn from 13 days in Benghazi. All right. Uh, that's on prime right now. The only difference is John's quote is you are not entertained. <laughs> Napoleon spread himself too thin and decided to invade Russia when he already was conquering his enemies, but he wanted more. I'm sorry. Am I listening to Dan Carlin's hardcore history right now? Yeah. I, I got confused. Put on your thinking cap. This is so informative what's going oh, on. Oh, yeah. Hey, Robin. I was a substitute teacher. I know this. <laughs> I'd be like, whenever somebody be like, what happened to the point? I'd be like, boom. And they'd, <laughs> they'd all laugh. They'd all laugh their asses off. It was great. And he suffered a devastating defeat. Isn't it weird? It, it's oh, almost like I just yeah. read it. Funny thing about Napoleon, he also spoke English and didn't have a French accent. I yeah. know he's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Napoleon looked a lot like uh, one of the Phoenix brothers. I don't remember <laughs> which one. But, and it, history did repeat itself with Hitler. Hitler too. Should never Hitler too. Yeah. Hitler, Hitler too is my favorite Hitler. <laughs> Hitler too. <laughs> One electric... Hitler too many. <laughs> yeah, electric jugaloo. <laughs> Hitler too. Front. Because he too spread himself far too thin. Like the jizz on my what? underwear when I <laughs> wipe it off my belly like a squeegee. <laughs> spread too thin. <laughs> Oh, that crusty hair that <laughs> next morning on his. Oh, oh my God. God. I have to say, there's a lot of different versions of John that I despise. I actually like history lesson John. <laughs> hey, I, yeah. can, I can watch history lesson John all day. <laughs> way better than history. smug John. Way better than romantic John. History lesson John is my favorite. I kind of agree with you because you don't feel like you're learning because you're not. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. you're, you're not being taught, so it doesn't feel like you're in school. It's such like rudimentary, <laughs> juvenile history, if you could even call it that. Right. Any child would know this. This is something you'd pull out of a time life book back when you were a kid. Like, oh, I see. Although a book would be a big step. Time, no life. Time, low life book. <laughs> uh, 
why the Russian soldiers were able to beat the Germans on the Eastern Front. So we learn from history. And now we will use that knowledge <laughs> when we deal with the douchebags of the Dumbleverse. Ah, <laughs> okay. way to bring it full circle. Right. There you go. So Stevie Lou does not know what he's dealing with here. Okay, now I understand. And who's Napoleon? Him or Stevie Lou? Or is Ray Napoleon? Who's Napoleon now? Brennan? And who's Hitler? It's who's Hitler? Hitler? <laughs> Now, obviously, <laughs> no, I said, who's Hitler? <laughs> I am the Duke of the Dabble Wars. There's no, there's no debate. So, uh, Anthony, he was at first claiming he was the king of the Dabble Now he's demoted himself to Duke. Yeah, what happened? Now, happened yeah, it was his call. It was his call. I think for branding purposes, it, yeah. it flows a little bit better. Right. Duke, I mean, Dabble Wars, both stuff. Right. Me, dick, uh, douchebag. Just, just call me Double D. You know, <laughs> everything revolves around me. Shitway does three shows a day about me. <laughs> so make no mistake about it. I am. Ah! Oh, Dude, he's had that thing since Atlantic City. <clears throat> what is that? that? Looks herp? That he was had more like a, a wart. He had a scab before, but that was like a wart. Yeah, well, that was when he was alone in Atlantic City. He scabbed <laughs> it up. He cut. He busted it open somehow. And oh. I don't think. I don't think it was the slot machines. If you know, you know what whose I mean. fault that is is Keanu's tight leather pants. Oh, so he was right, jacking it. <laughs> yeah, you know how he got. You know, once he sees some, he's like Terminator. It, it gets logged into his hard drive for later to. <laughs> And I got to ask you this question. So John was saying that Keanu's in his spank bank now because he met her in AC and she's wearing her tight leather pants. Now, as a guy, the spank bank, isn't that like an experience thing? Like women you've been with, things that you've done, not like a hot chick you talked to one time. Yeah, it's not like a fantasy thing. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> it has to be. Yeah. He's he's definitely overdrawn at the spank bank. <laughs> 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 if i mean if you want fantasy that's what porn is for right yeah the spank yeah. bank is a trip down memory lane right, right? Yeah. yeah i think so is, yeah or keanu that is disgusting <laughs> knowing this guy is lusting for you and getting herpes sores on his fucking i was texting with gino the other day and i had to text him and just say just so you know i don't jerk off to your fiance I, I wanted to let him know. Just oh, believe me, I, it, it's disgusting and everything. But I will shit all over Gino about it. Oh yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. As you should. Ten bucks says Gino's in his fantasy. Uh, in oh the yeah, for oh, sure. Yeah, fucking, yeah. The man. I'm the dude. Guy, man, dude. There's actually a, a band. Uh, let's see. And even with. <laughs> oh wait, show Kumia the. You know what? He's not wrong about this. I don't. I don't know if Kumia saw this, but I gotta. I gotta give me a sec. Put up some super chats, Carl. If you don't mind, can you read a few super chats? Yeah, while for I sure. Get this? No Thank worries. You, no worries. Yeah, look for I that. Appreciate. It. I love you, AC, but SJ has never combed his hair. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. He's not losing a daughter. He's gaining a son. <laughs> Great show, guys. Ain't no longer looking like Rock Rock Hudson doing a presser with Doris Day. <laughs> From Gates. Hey, look, I went through a few things. I'm back. <laughs> hey, Anthony, good to see you. Roy Harder says hello. Oh, yes, yes. From Eastside Dave show. Anthony, I've been a fan since WAAF. Best wishes for continued good health. Look forward to more of you in the Dabbleverse. Thanks for the fun. F. Opie. Oh, well, we, we have a ceasefire going on, me and Opie. Yeah, uh, shots, that, shots that fired. Will, that will end the second my book comes out, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, oh, you know what? I, I don't wait. want to make this about Opie, but did you see, I, I posted a video about it. Opie released your guy's text thread, your private text thread, as a video. About what? It, it made you look like the good guy. He's an idiot. Because oh, you literally oh. texted him like three or four times. He never got back to you. You're just like, hey, hope you're doing well. Merry Christmas. Happy Thanksgiving. Sorry oh, about yeah, yeah, yeah. Carl yeah. Ruiz. You were just messaging him like normal things. And he finally wrote back. Finally, just like, 
hey man i you know i hope you're doing well oh okay it was it was the weirdest video he's ever made because it just made him look like an asshole yeah, yeah like what was his you, uh, point what was his point know. to show that That's i so just strange. text him back the cunt won't even look at me <laughs> <laughs> classic he's an idiot that here's another amazing. classic this was his a super chat for oh, yeah, us great. watching this right sister oh, the right sister <laughs> <laughs> so the super chatter's name Hal Hitler, and uh, <laughs> here we go. He didn't. That? He didn't what? fucking realize that the right <laughs> sister, Hal Hitler. Well, how many? How many of them were cashiers that bought <laughs> underage kids? Oh yeah, somebody super chatted right before as they go. Did your tiny sister, uh, when she worked cashier at a store, did your tiny sister uh, buy? kids beer and his reply was which sister oh my <laughs> God. we were like what the fuck we were it's beer which sister are we talking about he is an imbecile what 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 what, what? Uh, al hitler thank you for the tenor <laughs> <laughs> don't concentrate on the shuli camp i have the shuli question does he have any fans i doubt it <laughs> It's been a real gas watching you destroy these guys. You finally found a solution to Shuli. Thank you. And I <laughs> thank Holy you. Shit. Thank you. Right <laughs> over his greasy dandruff crusted head. Thank you. After that, that's the funniest fucking thing. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, Jeff, I've recently had a good quarter one. So should you guys seriously come to Boston TSN? Jeff, thank you so much, buddy. Boston is on the map, buddy. You're you on know, the clock. You know what that reminds you of real quick? Remember yeah. Riley, Riley Martin used to do the show on Howard 101? Oh, like Monday night that's or right. something. And yeah. everyone would send him these ridiculous names. And he yeah. would just read them like they were real <laughs> names. He had no idea. Oh, <laughs> oh listen, a, a motherfucker. Yeah, he'd go, <laughs> oh, huge asshole. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's the center. John. Yeah. John is a whack packer in it every is. fucking way. It's incredible. It uh, Amanda Hug and Kiss. Thank you <laughs> for the email. You understand? Uh, Jeopardy Ace gifted 20. Come on, Jeopardy Ace. Ice mm. uh, Swallow, come. Thank me. Uh, uh, I mean, the French. <laughs> good old Orson Welles loaded. You gotta love that. Look, speaking Brennan of loaded is an angry old man end the story why am i even going to engage with kevin brennan somebody's still in love again it goes back to the theory of napoleon oh no oh boy <laughs> because as much as i theory. think brennan lies and <clears throat> is going to call me every name in the book but then again he calls everybody every name in the book he's an equal opportunity offender Oof. But I'd rather focus my energies and my efforts on the real assholes, the real douchebags of the Dabbleverse. Hold my beer, guys. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be saying that on numerous occasions today because that's my name for it. And that is Lady K. That is the shit way. That is Actually, Fatty Patty. If you were listening. And that is the. Yeah. What he has just said is he's going to take the lessons that he learned from Hitler to deal with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying that. <sighs> yeah, Hitler didn't do a good enough job because Shuey's family is still around. This is I know. Up. You missed us. Uh -huh. <laughs> Much like Italy in World War II, it looks like hockey's going to be back in the fold. <laughs> I'm yes. oh, no. doing uh -oh. this show. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Tukey and the Cardiff. The real just like anti-trans, oh, yeah. homophobic, racist, anti-Semitic <laughs> douchebags. You, you, did you speaking of anti-trans did you hear him with vince the other night uh vince was they they got on this topic of him seeing his son uh after the surgery for the first time Oof. he came to Susanna's house and uh his son and his now fiance were walking around with shirts off in the house and john talked about how he had wished his reaction 
he could have done it over again because he doesn't think his reaction was good uh, when he saw it. And I'm just, and you know, he's downplaying it when he's telling it to Vince, but I can only imagine what the fuck his reaction was like when he walked in. Where your tits? Where your tits go? (laughs) What the fuck? (laughs) Like, is there a subtle bone in this idiot's body? Like, he doesn't know. Like, yeah, Susanna, can I talk to you for a minute? No, there's none of that <laughs> happening. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ! You know, <laughs> cover that shit up. What the <laughs> fuck? Beer falls out of his hand, <laughs> smashes. Uh, do you, you do know. you have two nipples for a dime? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the devil does. Uh, let's see. So I'd rather focus. On beating the fuck out of them than having to deal with the fucking Ray <laughs> There and- he is. There's John as Napoleon. Uh, oh, oh, you know what? I'm I'm starting to understand what he's saying, the the, the rationale here. Please His logic. Explain. So ahead. he's explaining he learned from watching a movie that you can't battle all of your enemies how it was. That's oh. right. Okay, so now I'm understanding. So now he's focusing on myself. Shuli Agar, mm-hmm. a potato and a puppet. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, you've taken a lot of notes during this movie. All right. All right. I'm, so, not, not the Russians, puppet. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to lure them all to a frozen lake bed and then shoot <laughs> cannons. All uh, fucking, the what ice fucking ball. idiots. Moron. I'm going to battle these guys. I need horses. <laughs> Moron. At Dixon's and Stevie loses. And fucking Brennan's bunch. Stevie Waterloo. <laughs> <laughs> See? Uh, that's brilliant. He couldn't come up with that in a million years. No, but like Jackie was with Stevie Loser, which is also <laughs> oh, oh, No one would come up with that. Uh, I just picture him just licking that pencil right before he put it down <laughs> on the bear. I got ah, this. Stevie Loser. Like Napoleon, I keep one hand in my vest so you can't see my herpes sores. <laughs> <laughs> I keep my dick finger in my vest. <laughs> the weirdest finger I've ever. And he's told a story. Uh, come, I don't know if you. Uh, talked about this car. There's his <laughs> finger. That is so <laughs> fucking clever. <laughs> he told a story that he went to the doctor, and the doctor, the solution to his finger, the doctor said, was to re break it. They got to re break it. We got to re. I go, I've never heard of something like that. What kind of doctors are not supposed to break things? They're supposed to fix things. I, I wish thought. you would have gone to a nose doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have him check <laughs> your neck while you're at <laughs> it. <too. laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Hack verse anonymous. Brennan's bunch. I'll show it later after the politics. <laughs> Battle of water. I'm just Hank. like John. <laughs> you know, and uh, I just gotta. Uh, let's see. Oh, and I just gotta do my dirty deeds to those that deserve it. Ooh. So. Will you sing it? Kev, you have at it. Trash me all you want. I'm, I don't care. I won't be watching today. I he won't watches. be watching tomorrow. He watches every day. He oh, tags man. him in Twitter, uh, yeah. on Twitter every day still, yeah. trying to to send him clips or whatever he can about me. So he's trying to get back in with Kevin through me, through like, hey, let's team up and go after this guy. And meanwhile, Kevin every day goes, this guy's a fucking idiot. <laughs> like, I don't want to do anything with him. So pretty interesting. He's really in love. Definitely, I'm not going to be watching Saturday. I'll be too drunk. Oh. At least he's being So it doesn't on. really matter. Yeah. Um, well, I'm going to focus on. Kevin Brennan goes on what time on Saturday? <laughs> 10 o'clock at night, Eastern Doesn't time? matter. He already knows he's not going to be watching, Carl. But oh. he's on the West Coast. <laughs> right. He's got three hours. You can't be sober at 7 p.m. You can't pull that off. <laughs> hey, okay. He's hammered by four. What are you I talking know, about? I know. I'm you just know? saying. Oh, speaking of, did you hear this rumor that he might be teaching again? Yeah, oh, I, I, I was, I think the first person to spread it. But yes, I do think <laughs> that he's, I did get some inside information that he is teaching again. Yes. Well, a good, uh, you know, here's something, right? He was on early today, and now, uh, because Saturday there's no work technically, right. yeah, so he no did an early cool. show. Other than that, he's been doing afternoon shows. 
Yes. Um, the other thing we discovered last night or the other night was his mom super chatted him again. It was the same exact account that super chatted him in Atlantic City, the same Facebook uh, account from Facebook. Yeah. Who who super chat? I don't know if you saw this, Anthony, but his mom super chatted him while he was in Atlantic City. Stop drinking; it's killing you. Basically. Oh wow! Yeah, and, and he put it. It wasn't even a super chat. It was just on Facebook, and he put it up on the screen. Mm -hmm. And it was his mom's name. And he says afterwards, it wasn't really his mom. But you know how Facebook works. You can't just make bogus accounts on Facebook. It's right, not like right. Twitter or YouTube. Ooh, and, an and then he. Well, yeah. and then he started doing a series of shows earlier in the day and no alcohol at all. And right. boy, did those shows stink. <laughs> I mean, I got to be honest. This guy, yeah. that's his muse, man. Low yeah. muse. He needs yeah. it. He needs it. He needs his co-host. Cool. <laughs> On the real douchebags of the devil. Because Kevin Brennan, initially his show was not about me. At least I'll give him that. His show was about beating up on everybody. It was. Burning. I like that he thinks somebody's watching, going, John. At least give him this. At least give him yeah. the fact. Like nobody fuck. They're all watching this race for the crash. They don't care who wins. They just want to see you smash into the wall in turn four. That's it. Kevin Brennan is like Genghis Khan. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who got the History Channel on Hulu? This guy. <laughs> Bridges and then became Misery Loves Company. So it was not, I was not its primary focus. He doesn't Therefore, know who you like, are. What? John, John, I'm sorry to break the news to you, buddy. I know you think you're a big celebrity, but the reason why he had me on Misery Loves Company when you came back to the Dabbleverse is because he didn't know what to talk to you about. He never listened to Howard Stern. He doesn't know who you are. All he knew was just like, well, they're doing a DabbleCon. Oh, my gosh, this guy, everyone's paying attention to Stuttering John. I, maybe I should get involved in this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> of course this show wasn't about you. He doesn't know who you are, idiots. Uh, never fails, this guy. Never fails. I even bother. <laughs> If he wants to fuck with paying me less, I'll oh, big fucking deal. I wipe my ass with 50 bucks. Oh, he's oh, giving up he, on that? But he's right. He's been screaming about it for a week straight. Yes. Kevin, Kevin shorted him $50. This millionaire that flies Spirit Airlines whenever he snaps his finger is screaming about $50. And now he's going, uh, it doesn't make no skin off my nose. Idiot. He's unbelievable. I don't know why anyone would take this guy seriously or anyone in the dabble verse. Everyone just says shit for a week and they go, I, I don't care about that, actually. Like, no, skin, no skin off my leprosy hand. <laughs> no skin off my uncircumcised dick finger. <laughs> I don't care. David Chandler dropping a 50 bomb. Nice. What's going on? Mm. Uh, I swallow see? cum. Thank me. I never had a desire to go into the middle. Welcome back, Angel. We missed you. Thank you, DC. And Jeff dropping five in there. Thank you, Jeff. You're fat and you talk like a moron. <laughs> Seriously. If he wants to be a douchebag, let him be a douchebag. Uh, let's see. But it's not worth it for me. Now, who else would John say, if he wants to trash me, I don't care? Who else would he say that to? Yeah. Nobody. Nobody. To be fighting wars on all fronts. Oh, here he goes back to history. Just not. <laughs> Did you I'd know this? Focus on the prize. <laughs> and the prize right now is we have a crumbling network known as the shit network. It's dying. And dying. It's dying. Shout out to the seventeen hundred plus in here watching us <laughs> die a slow and painful death. Thank you, everybody. Hit like. Hit subscribe. Hit notification. Get yourself a membership if you haven't gotten one with all the gifted memberships. Or turn them on. The link's in the description. Let's get back to this retard. John's neglected cat is doing the Lord's work, <laughs> along with Turbs McGurk and Muttering Jay. These are his friends now. A guy <laughs> named John's neglected. These are his closest allies. <laughs> John, John's neglected cat, Turbs McGurk. And 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 MJ M muttering J, whose uh, profile pic is John starring in the <laughs> Grease remake. It's so embarrassing. 
Oof. They're literally laughing and pointing at his face, and he's just like, hey, you guys are the best friends a guy can have. Really? Really? Unbelievable. <laughs> In exposing the shit network and Lady Kmart, or shall we say muttering, Lady Lothario. Look it up. Oh, 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 look out. Sick. Burn. Look it I'll, up. I'll definitely Google that. <laughs> yeah, that was you a uneducated death march. Cretans. Oh, yeah. that's called the get homer, guys. When you're, <laughs> you know. But they're crumbling. <laughs> so it's best to divert all firepower oh. on the <laughs> ones that are so focused on my ev every move. John's got stock coming back from his nose. John's wiping his nose again. John's drooling. Stay tuned for an emergency show. <laughs> I mean, all, all three of those are an emergency when, yeah. you're 60, <laughs> when you're 60 years old and you're doing this while you're drunk. How do you not expect you people are just supposed to walk by and go, nothing, nothing weird happening here. <laughs> Fuck out of here, man. John's eye looks weird today, doesn't it? <laughs> Boy, he knows everything about your shows, yeah. man. I was going to say, Every these are all single. actual titles yep. of sh emergency <laughs> yeah. shows we've done. Yeah, I, I, I made a thumbnail that said the face of failure, and it had a photo of John on it. And he started using that phrase. He still uses it to this day. Yeah. Immediately after I posted that, he's like, the face of failure, everybody. I'm like, where did you get that from? I wonder. It's the best. <laughs> He's been caught in here, gifted a membership before. Like he's yeah. he's always uh, around. He's watching uh, right now, guaranteed. But also, Hi, Johnny. also uh, Anthony, this reminds me of all the detractors of the compound media. Oh, yeah. it's failing. This network <laughs> oh, that yeah. Anthony's doing, it's failing. No one's making money. Everyone's losing money. And then you're ten, ten years into it. You're just ten like, years. Oh, I don't know what failing. to tell you guys. We're still doing it. We still have. We're still paying rent. We still have employees. It's still yeah, happening. yeah. For 10 years, I've been failing. It, it, the ONA show used to get that all the time. When we first got to WNEW, you'd get callers that were used to the music being played in the rock of New York and everything. And they're like, you guys suck, but it doesn't matter. You guys are going to be gone in two yep. weeks. No one's listening. You're failing. And, you know, it took us to literally have people fucking a church before we got <laughs> thrown out of there. But, like, they never stopped. A year later, you'll be gone in no time. I know you're gone two years. Oh, it's any day now. You're going to be gone. So, you know, John, it, it, it's so typical of somebody that's uh, oh, retarded. That was the word. Yeah. Well, I, I pointed this out. I was talking to Shuli the other day. The devil verse is only growing right now because yeah. John's on seven days a week. He's retarded. It's yep. ridiculous <laughs> to watch. So yeah. there's all these shows cropping up. There's all these shows talking about stuttering John and just sitting there going, and no one's watching the Shuley network anymore. Are you looking at the fucking numbers? They're posted yeah. publicly. <laughs> it, it's, it's just wild to me that like now the thing is like, uh, so the guy, John's neglected cat, which sounds like he's a huge fan of John, by the way, <laughs> yeah, for the sure. screen name. <laughs> Uh, he posts numbers of all the shows and then people start going, well, their gifted memberships are all fake. You oh, know right. that, right? All and fake, right. The same. Look, David Chandler just threw us 50 gifted membership. He just did the same thing on MLC. He went over there and gave them 50. Now, because it's on MLC, it's real. But because it's here, it's right. fake. So they go, well, we're not going to add the gifted memberships to the totals of the day, which we still beat John every single day. Yeah, yeah. everybody beats him. Hold Except on. for Steel Toe. Let me let me piece. check with my my buddy Alex Jones on this. Bullshit. Yeah, no, you're <laughs> wrong. <laughs> but yeah, they're like it's so easy to do, and then they explain a 17 step process with VPNs going. <laughs> oh God. South yeah. America. I know Argentina's involved somehow. <laughs> yeah. The whole fucking thing. They go, you could do it for two cents on the doll, and it's like okay. So we figured out a racket. Us idiots have figured out a racket that YouTube. Has not figured out. Right, That's what right. you're telling me. About you this. fucking know all about this <laughs> shit. <laughs> <sighs> so, Oof. I'm going to have Brian and the Army Major on. Then I'll be back. And I got plenty to <laughs> talk about when it comes to the shit way. And you know what? I will say, if, God forbid, well, not really, but 
<laughs> Look, Bob is the only one holding that shit network up. I mean, I've worked with Bob. I mean, Bob Bob could be funny at times. Oh. oh, oh! somebody had a change of heart when they didn't get up from their seat in Atlantic City when wow. Bob was standing in front yeah. of them. Yeah, interesting. But if he leaves the shit way, they got nothing. Silent Mike, Log Cabin Larry, nothing. Bob's the only one. That actually brings something to the table. Yeah, he's making some points now, he, but still. And, <laughs> it's the jackets, man. I got to get my, I got to step my jacket up, uh, my jacket game up. Fucking. There's nothing from just a like second five trip. days ago of him going, Bob Levy's a hack. He's a piece <laughs> of, of shit. <laughs> of course. Wait, we haven't gotten to the end of this yet. I mean, <laughs> it's <laughs> probably coming, you know. Uh, Hal Hitler. Thank you, uh, Leonard Nimoy. Thank you. Oh, you know. Uh, let's see. <laughs> So it really, and I, uh, <laughs> let's see. if I were Bob, I'd get the fuck out of there. Of course you would. You make one horrible decision after another. Of course he would do that. <laughs> because he's obviously, I think he wants to. Well, he's the same guy like, who's, who was complaining that Bob left Miserable's company. He's like, why would he walk away from that $4,000 a month? That's crazy. Like that was yeah. real money. He, <laughs> what he was, was he doing? Well, Bob was miserable doing that show. He's actually happy doing this show. Like, uh, yeah, he would sometimes get paid, but other than that, it wasn't right. Nice. Right. What? So Shuli's going to take all the money, and I'm going to get paid a small percentage. And without me, there's no fucking show. If I were Bob, I either I get the fuck out of here. I'd get the fuck out of there. You know what he's saying? Do your own to make sense, actually, sure. You know what, John? You you should negotiate. Write on a piece of cat shit what you think I should pay these guys <laughs> and slide it over to me and let me know. <laughs> oh, like... Well, Brennan pays Adam three grand a month as if any <laughs> wow. podcast producer gets paid such a ridiculous amount of money. Wow. He, I didn't know he was in the big time, dog. Damn. Look out. Hey, it's more than $100, Kumia. I know. Come on. $100. <laughs> Joe, or ask him to pay you more money. I'm just saying. He's just saying. This is an actual quote. Somebody said this. Who said this? I don't remember. Do you know, Frog? <laughs> Julie's to... Jewish. He can't help it. And I don't mean that as a joke. I, I, I have to ask this question. <laughs> because, you know, Anthony's a radio veteran. He's been around all of this. Sure. So everyone is yelling and screaming about how much money people make and how much they're paying out. <laughs> to people was that ever a thing was howard ever talking about man cow's salary or was that what you guys would go after is how much money someone's making when you're talking about you know on jocktober go after scott shannon were you going after his salary was, like i be honestly i think we did shit on people about like how little they were making but uh you didn't want to sound like you know you're making a shitload of money uh, well, I remember Howard going off on uh, when when Sirius XM or or uh, yeah, I think it was Sirius or maybe I think it was after the merger when they gave Oprah the channel. Yeah, and they oh, gave her like well, yeah, 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 and he was just like fifty so, something million. Okay, and yeah, yeah. So th 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 that's the point I'm trying to make. So if you're going to talk about fifty million dollars, that's right. real money, right? Right. That's a real amount of money you could talk about. When John talks about money and Kevin Brennan talks about money, they're talking about hundreds of dollars <laughs> yeah they're talking about the page you 75 i paid you 85 like what the fuck oh. are we talking about these are not amounts of money that mean anything to anyone <laughs> now listen in the grand scheme of things for what we're watching and talking about we shouldn't be making 25 dollars. Right. okay let's be honest so this stupid. is this is a waste of everybody's time but for whatever reason there are people out there that are beyond generous and kind and decide to give and donate and help a show and help the people doing it and it's amazing but the fact that you in the in the in the grand scheme of people making money on youtube we're not even a fucking pimp we're not even <laughs> a dot on that map dude it's nothing it's nothing there are people that make lifetimes worth of money yeah, a month yeah on youtube yeah so so the point is it's almost like bob levy and uh producer joe and all these guys enjoy what they're doing right and are doing to become multi-millionaires so yeah. when justice or he tries to 
sow these seeds of discontent and he's in on there going and bob levy needs to leave that network he's not paying him enough shoe he's taking all the money i don't think that bob's sitting there going yeah you know what i made 3500 last week i should have made 3800 <laughs> right. he's right about this i gotta go and no one's ever said i'm gonna take john's advice <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> financial oh, no. wizard stuttering john there's that Actually, I think there are there are some people that probably have said that we just no longer hear from them or know of their whereabouts. Yeah, so I yeah. don't think it worked out. But probably didn't pan out very well. For probably them. not. I was thinking about it because I watched some clips and I'm like, Shuli's awful, stoned all the time. Silent Mike is, is a hack. Ugh. Log Cabin Larry, I don't even know what the fucking that fucking ball. He's built like this. Nice props. I don't know what he's doing. There. Prop humor, yeah. Good. So one. without Bob, they're dead. <laughs> and Bob must know that in the back of his head. <laughs> Take a sip like a man with your straw and your with his little <laughs> foamy straw girl drink. <laughs> your sugar and milk with whipped cream. Yeah, you want to lick Look. the whipped cream off when you're done with uh, that. Uh. So he's got a, you know, I mean, it's up to him. <laughs> but he's the only one that could actually branch out and do something. I'm trying to divide and conquer. Right. I studied uh, Napoleon, <laughs> Napoleon Dynamite, actually. I, I watched the movie the other night. Bob, go check the chicken. Mind your business over here. Don't listen to this idiot. <laughs> Invite these guys. We got a lot to cover. And I'll be back. Do at least a half hour after. With uh, just me. Keep the super chats coming. Thank you. That's my new favorite thing. Every time he types on the keyboard, the boys put in some piano yeah. or uh, <laughs> organ music. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking brilliant. The links have been sent. You guys, you guys got to find Riders on the Storm when he does that walk. <laughs> and that's a great call. Great. He's right. Uh, he knows his shit. You should have a band, dude. You yeah, some maybe, someday, about maybe someday. Maybe <laughs> someday. Just don't do any pussy instrumental shit, man. Oh, no. The chicks yeah. love that. What are you talking about? <laughs> they love n Nintendo music instrumentals. <laughs> <laughs> what chick doesn't get wet for Metroid Man, huh? Come on. Uh... Uh, let's see. I've been doing a lot of thinking. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty good joke. What happened? Oh no! Wait, sorry. I'm that's playing on my other screen. I something started playing. It scared the shit out of me. Sorry. I've been talking to a lot of friends. <laughs> <laughs> Stories already. Oh. Say John. Uh, wait, he, yeah, he missed the first one. What happened there? Talking to a lot of friends. <laughs> and the <laughs> finger plucking that disgusting nose. He is a goddamn <laughs> fucking biohazard. <laughs> I don't Ugh. think he I don't think he has any feeling in it anymore because he's hitting his no, nose it's, and it's, he's it's, not it's... sure he's going back. <laughs> oh he got I just gotta take I just gotta trust my gut and hope that I wiped it. They all say, John, focus on the prize. <laughs> Don't worry about fucking Stevie Lou and Ray DeVito. They're nobodies. Pat Dixon, he's sleazy. I just watched him this morning commenting on Kate Meany's tits. I mean, really, <laughs> John Pat? would never do that. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh, here we go. Oh, 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 oh here we go. Oh, 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 my froggy. First of all, Kate has beautiful boobs. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen them, but just... Just from what I can see here, you're a fucking 65-year-old man and you're commenting on Kate Meany's tits. <laughs> wow. Unreal. He's unbelievable, Again, right? Again, dude, that was like less than a week ago. <laughs> yes. I don't even know what day that was. He's he's hilarious. Five days ago. Uh, five days ago. And then he's talking about how, how, how she's not a pretty woman. What? Are you blind? Kate Meany is an immature, fucking <laughs> ugly, big jawed, flabby arm, disgusting pig. Of the month. <laughs> it's a miracle. Facebook people, join this broadcast. Uh, you, Facebook uh, people. Let's see. Start saying that she looks like she's wearing a mask. I'm like, I'm like, Pat, you'd be lucky to have Kate Meany. 
We'd all be lucky to have Kate Meany. Amen, John. Mr. Chris Steele, thank us. Go on, Drew and Mike Yulush. <laughs> I mean, it, in my estimation, she's super hot. He's simple. Uh, uh, but he doesn't want to fuck her because she's too young. That's that's the thing. But he'll talk about her tits and he'll say how hot she is. And he loves her laugh and he loves. Hey, I love talking to you. I love your laugh too, John. I think it's very nice. I just I don't understand. So he was <laughs> bragging that he talked to her on the phone for two and a half hours the other day. Yeah, but he's oh also not God. trying to fuck her. What kind right. of a waste of time is it to talk to a woman for two and a half hours? No, nope. you're not trying to fuck. No, that's He's not true. In... They're called they're called gay dudes. That's yeah, yeah. Awesome. They're right. Two hours on the phone. More what pathetic, are you about? like friend zone guys. Like, yeah. Obviously, John wants to fuck her. Yeah. But she's the one that can make or not make that decision. So he has to keep playing along like he doesn't want to until she, in his mind, she says that they will. So then uh, in the interim, he just compliments her and hopes at some point she uh, lets him in. So what you're saying is John's playing hard to get and he's doing it brilliantly. I agree. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's, he's killing go. it. Oh, I'm, pull, a... I'm pulling on my own pigtails. <clears throat> <laughs> Figure that one out. <laughs> There's, but, wait, put up John De Niro again? I, lo <laughs> oh, <laughs> I love God. John De Niro. Are you a pothead, Faka? Yeah, that's when he asked if Kevin needed muscle in Atlantic City. That was oh, his, yeah. <laughs> that was his pose when Bob was climbing over the rail. Let's see. Patton. Definitely not Patton Oswalt. Well, I loved I loved George S. Patton. I, I was a big Patton. Were you a Patton field? Uh, <laughs> Are you a Patton fan, Army Major? Brother, I'm actually, when I go to Europe this year in May, the first thing I'm doing is... Uh... <laughs> Army, Army, Army Major's eyes move like John's mouth. Both of them are just opening and closing like way fast. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I love, I mean, that movie was brilliant. George C. Scott was brilliant. Yeah. Oh, and, you know, he won movie. the Academy Award and he See, everything he yeah. knows about history comes from a movie, of course. He let an indigenous woman come up and accept the award. Yep. And Charlton Heston wanted to beat his ass or something. <laughs> no, it wasn't Charlton Heston. It was, uh, uh, shoot, what's his name? Played it. Uh, <laughs> oh, Steve what McQueen? A show. <laughs> Nothing makes Frog happier than cutting off super, guests. Super Chat coming in from Patton My Balls. <laughs> Uh, hello, friend, patting my ball. Hello. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. Uh, 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 shoot, shoot. Peter Fonda? No, no, Carl country, Malden, country. <laughs> Call it Peter Fonda. Uh, uh, Peter Fonda. Uh, 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 I just want to point country. out that uh, Vince the Warrior is jealous of Richard O'Jenna's haircut right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> he wishes he had that. He goes, how do you get it to stay down? Mine <laughs> pops up like those troll eraser pencils or whatever the fuck they were. Western guy, John Wayne. Oh, uh, that's right. John yeah, Wayne. Yeah, it was You're It right. was actually, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't who you said it was. But by the way, I believe Carl Malden wanted a piece of that shit too. Yeah, right? okay, right. I could They're see just Quincy throwing out names of old actors. <laughs> yeah, <you know? laughs> uh, I believe it was Danny Thomas. Uh, <laughs> I believe it was. It was actually the guy that was in uh, Apocalypse Now. The 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 guy that was killed in the end of Apocalypse Now. Hey, he spoiler alert, dude! Oh, Jesus Christ! John went to NYU. He's gonna know this. He's got this down. All right. Okay. One. And he sent an Indian, a Native oh, that was American. Marlon Brando. That's Marlon right. Brando. Yeah, Marlon <laughs> that was Brando. Marlon Brando. You're right. I, yeah. I, I thought George C. Scott did something with his acceptance speech too. Now I'm getting it all mixed up. Uh, wow. Let's see. My my fin my dick fingers playing tricks on me. I was wrong. I became a member for three months. I have it set to members only <laughs> for Brian, so they don't bust his. She's one of the meanest people in the chat. I love her so much. <laughs> Balls, <laughs> and he and does the dumb it. trumpet. Yeah. Or it says on a live side, he does the trumpet. <laughs> no, you know, I know Army Major doesn't care, but, but I, I mean, Brian doesn't care either. It's just he's just nonsense. It's just right, Brian. I mean, if you want to pay, if you want to pay to call us assholes, uh, let's see. <laughs> Listen closely. The floodgates are opening, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, um, 
Oh, unalive yourself. This is my fans. Unalive. I've, I've, got, I've got one for uh, for you too, Richard. Hula, airborne. Uh, RP, thanks for five bucks, John. You can't do anything to stop them. One thing you can do is leave for a while. Then they are screwed. Uh, you're too dense to know it. Well, I don't. I'm not leaving. I'm making too much money. Aki, oh, 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 by the way. What? Oh, yeah. Good. No, I know. I'll believe you. If I, right. If I correct, if I. What's better than him oh, reading no. them? Oh, it's, just, it's just leaving them up where it's just saying, yeah. is it true you hate the Jews? I heard reports. <laughs> and it's just been sitting there. Corrected every one of these. I'll be fixing the You guys are cheap. $1.99. You cheap asses. You want to throw stones, man. At least put $5. Hey Richard, it's a Jew. What are you, now? You're anti-Semitic. What do you want him to do? Five dollars? Relax. Dollars on it, you cheap asses. Almost said it. <laughs> yeah, he did. Uh, this idiot. Just thanks for the five bucks. Vince <laughs> always came out being a mid He's muttering. Jay's been trolling John. Also, we want Southern John's audio book. John, my patron. I don't really think first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that's not you, Carl. No, I, I don't live in Australia, so no, that's, no? that was okay. not me. Uh, yeah, he's an Australian. Let's see if so. John can uh, figure out that it's not you. Boy, he spelled Patreon wrong, and as and 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 as dumb as Lady K is, I don't think he would spell Patreon wrong. Wow. Oh, uh, so I don't believe that. Um, Lady Die, Jimmy wouldn't blank you, Woody tweet him. <laughs> No, I've been texting with uh, Jim Norton. Oh, just look. This is my point. Liberal buffoons. Oh, you raised it from $1.99 to $2. Whoa, big spender. <laughs> and Mason Point. Uh, thanks for the fiber. John. Look at his avatar as the Kate Meany J. John, John Kate has been talking to Carl behind your back. She also joined WD Patreon. I don't trust that. Jezebel, what? 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 Read that again. What? Yeah, say that again, John. This is just one mumble fucking listen. Dollar ninety nine to two dollars. Whoa, big spender. <laughs> and Mason Point. Uh thanks for the fiber. John Kate has been talking to Carl behind your back. She also joined WD Patreon. I don't trust that. Jezebel, everyone's trying to wind me up, Brian. But I, I, these are before <laughs> you guys <laughs> got here. Feed them direct things for five bucks. You see well, hold on a second. Like, Kate yeah. Meaty did join our Patreon this week. Oh that is true. I, I got the notification for Patreon that new member Kate Media. I went, all right, that's that's fine. Wow. Sure Wait a minute. What we're talking about. Wait a minute. Breaking news. At least simple sticking up for Kate only because she's pretty. Try defending someone who isn't like Kate. All right. When Frog zooms in, here are the choices. It's either gonna be a stutter, it's either gonna be saliva, snot. Uh what else was there? Is there anything I'm missing? I think that's I think those are the options. So now we wait and see, ladies and gentlemen. Let the fun begin. Like Mr. Joey C to show positivity. I love oh, Mr. or he completely tunes out of what the guest is saying yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and looks at something. On this one, right. So let's see. This is Joey C. So we can get rid of that. And then we go right down at the bottom and then I'll be done and and, and then we can get back to cause because Brian, I was reading your column on, on salon.com. Oh. RP, thanks for five bucks. Hey Brian, you only get some letters, you liberal pussy. <laughs> oh, he's saying that you only have so many letters, which <laughs> is why he said he misspelled two, which is a cop out. He just didn't know how to spell two. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Uh, I like when he, play, when he tries to play it off and he goes, Let me think about that for a second. That's an oh. interesting question you brought up. <laughs> you guys gotta warn me about that shit. I'm getting wet over here. Hey, listen, man. It's anything can happen. He misspelled two, which is a cop out. He just didn't know how to spell two. But he oh. did five dollars on it. So me, it was like the bullet that finished off uh Kennedy. It went it went to the left. It came out and went back <laughs> Magic, on his chin. Yeah. The Magic. army major's getting PTSD <laughs> being shot at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I was, and you get, uh, let's see. RP, um, thanks to John. I can say two without slobbering. Can you? Uh, <laughs> let's see. Well, it's so funny when the chatters have callbacks to shit that he did, you know? Yeah. Oh, they don't let him forget anything. I'm going to, I'm going to give a shout out to my own mother, 85 years old today. She's undergoing, oh. um, uh, cancer surgery for stage one, uh, breast cancer, but they, it oh, John, do your cancer joke. Yeah, they yeah, did about yeah. Carl's dad, John. A bunch of these. Good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> I hope she dies. 
Get it? <laughs> Get it? Get they it. cut out the tag. That's why it's not funny. And I was sideways when I said it. <laughs> Brian, I'm working that out. It's not fully finished yet. <laughs> You know, if uh, your mom did what my uh, daughter did, she wouldn't even have boobs to get cancer. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's, you know, they've got it, and so it's a lumpectomy. Oh, but wow, all right. So, hope so. Awesome. What's her name, Brian? That's what it was called her name is when Patricia. I was born. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, what's your what's her address? I'll send her an iPad. I got to go to the bar later and talk to a guy. Oh, God. On St. Patty's Day, with the luck of the Irish, I tell you, me lad. My daughter got an uh, adictomy. <laughs> Happy birthday oh, to oh. you. <laughs> Coming Happy up in March birthday. 17th. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> it's not even her birthday. He started oh. singing, it's not even her birthday until March 17th, you <laughs> idiot. He, he listens to nothing. He really doesn't. Less his Imagine name's the, involved in it. Yeah. The tsunami of him blowing out a fucking candle. The, oh, the candles on a cake. Oh, God. Anyone would anyone eat it? No. Oh, I'm gonna wish. I wish I had friends to help me eat this cake. <laughs> There's two things that I wouldn't smoke a joint that he licked shut, and I oh. wouldn't eat cake that he blew the candles <laughs> out on. I think the same amount of saliva would be on both somehow. <laughs> I think you said the birthday was today. No, March 17th. Oh. Uh, you were so close, John. Uh, let's see. <laughs> do you joke about Patricia? Uh, oh. I didn't do a joke about Carl's dad. I did a there joke about There you go. Carl. Anyway, so go ahead, Army Major. What's your next Oh, wow, oh, you got oh, off that thank topic. You. Right? Thank you, Patricia. Wow. I appreciate I, it. Hey, I've never seen him uh, go off Carl topic so fast before <laughs> in my it's, life. It's impressive. He says he's not going to talk about Brennan anymore to focus on you and me. And now he can focus on you, and he decides not to. Well, I'm, surpri I'm surprised he didn't say, you mean about Carl's dad? Right, right. You forgot the A there, funeral director. Uh, I mean, if you really break it down, it, it's about how much I hate cancer, really. I mean, if you if you really look into the joke, you know? He, he <laughs> fucked up his whole Napoleonic uh, strategy. He yeah. should have, you know, when when the, your enemy is weak, he's like, oh. <laughs> I wrote a book, The Art of Boar. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea. I think he, he wants to have the Napoleon life, the part where he's exiled to an island and he just <laughs> yeah. lives there and gets That's drunk what we every all day. Want anyway. it's, 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 everybody wants that Napoleon ending, of course. <laughs> do you joke about Patricia? Uh, I didn't do a joke about Carl's dad. I did a joke about Carl. Anyway, so go ahead, Army Major. What's your next thing? That you what, bring what's, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, yeah. Noga from Army Major and Cameron. Noga, Noga. I just do it. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, this what's, is what's oh, Noga? <laughs> oh, now let's go, Johnny boy. What's oh, Noga? Yeah, explain explain that. Song? Explain it. Yeah, I'm sure you got no problem explaining that. Uh, it's this guy's dead mother, and I like to yell out a name and grab my chest. So you oh, know what I'm saying, God. right? But I didn't know it was her name until later. But then I kept doing it. Right. Let's know oh, no, I don't know, but I don't uh, know. What a oh. fucking spineless pussy liar. What Own it, asshole. bitch. Own it. Yeah. By the way, the, um, the super chat that came up right after that was Johnny Russo. I believe oh. the co-writer of uh, Anthony's new book. Yes, that's right. He's been in here before, too. Uh, good dude. And, oh, uh, Johnny can, uh, he Johnny. can drink. <laughs> oh, <like> that. <laughs> well, that's not what I was saying, but yeah. Hey, listen, it, it, Anthony say he's picking up the slack, you know? <laughs> That's right. Uh, listen, we've done two hours. It's late. Uh, you guys are, are the best. Well, I want to let them go. I don't want to keep them. I'll hang out. I'll, yeah. I'll finish the rest of this thing. Home uh, run, call me a home run. <laughs> oh, but, yes. Hey, Thank you. Uh, plug it again. Uh, available for pre-order, Anthony. Plug your yes, book and, of course, uh, Amazon, Compound. Uh, com. of course. Spare Me is the name of the book. It's uh, out in July, but you could pre-order right now at uh, Amazon. Of course, there's also uh, Compound Media. Um, Monday, uh, I will be back in New York City, 4.30 to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And uh, my Twitter, Anthony Kumia. Very easy. It's my name. And on YouTube, uh, I stream. I play the games. I yell. I do things. Uh, it's a compound media on uh, YouTube. Thank you. Uh, it, it's great having you back, man. We missed it. you. 
it's been too long and and hope to do it again and uh yeah, absolutely can't Julie, enough, see what man. see what happens when you ask me more than 10 minutes before your show starts <laughs> we're learning man we're learning we're still figuring this thing out you know no i love uh, doing it you know i fucking I, love it it's it's one of my favorite things to do man uh what? i appreciate it a anytime thank you so much for coming by carl go ahead and plug your stuff buddy and, go ahead. and great to see you buddy always carl yes. Fucking, i'm gonna stick around for your plugs I'll listen. all right so uh watp live.com we're playing a live show in largo florida march 22nd with the guys from rotc but it's not just the guys from rotc it's all the guys from who are these podcasts it's also tukey cardiff electric Dr. Steve is going to be there. Awesome. Monique from Radio Gug is going to be there. It is a, a giant lineup of people, and we'll be hanging out all weekend. So um, WTBLive.com and uh, Hackamania.com will be live in Las Vegas, May 31st through June 2nd with Patrick Melton and Ray DeVito and Pat Dixon and all the crew over there. Tukey will be at that one as well. So check out the live shows. And of course, who are these.com is where you get everything you need to get to check out who are these podcasts, who are these socials and who are these broadcasters under the, who are these umbrella? Beautiful gentlemen. I, I can't thank you enough for pulling a, a late night shift here with us and uh, oh, all the best. And, and I'll talk to you guys soon. All right. Great. Thanks, Julie. Be well, right. man. You got it, buddy. Carl. See you. Aunt. All right, I'm going to I'm going to hang with you and read these super chats. Let's right? go. Let's, Let's go. Let's do it. What else am I going to do? Three guys with Shane no Gillis on SNL. What else am I going to do? Let's go. Love you, pal. Three guys with no sympathy for stuttering John. Perfect. Yes. That I is love the Jeff. He sends me all these great uh, cop cams for uh, oh. the creep off the creep off.com. He's great. There was one. I saw a thing today of a college kid that they 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 had reports of a gunshot in the dorm room. They go to the dorm room. The kid's not there. His roommate's there. They come in the room. They're looking around. They find a box of Xanax. Never okay. a good sign. Yep. Then the kid shows up. They go, what's your name? He's like, Maurice. They're like, no, it's not. He goes, all right, you got me. <laughs> they take him. So they frisked him. They didn't know this, but he had a gun on him. They frisked him twice. They didn't find it. It fell down his trouser, like his, his slacks or whatever. He's in the back of the cop car, adjusting it, getting it back up, gets to the police station. The cops interviewing him. He's on camera. He doesn't know this the cops interview him, pulls out the gun and kills the cop right there during the interview. Whoa. Then then escapes. And then they found him uh, like a half hour later on the campus. He returned back to the campus. But I was like, this dude is fucking nuts, man. Wow. Shot him in the police station. Insane. You got to uh, wonder what the long-term goal is there. <laughs> yeah. What do you think is going to happen after this, sir? One too many John Wick movies that yeah. think uh, probably. This is the dream team. Stay awesome. FSJ, FKB. Thank you, James Boyd. Appreciate thank it. You. Uh, Stevie Luza, a.k.a. Salacious Crumb. O&A, epic takedown of Maxwell. Epic shit, Anthony. Yes. Yeah. I, I, yeah it's too bad that Anthony's not here still because Maxwell was the guy that the first time Chad Zuma can, came on WTP, he goes, Carl, we got to we have to go after Maxwell. He's got a new podcast out. And I guess Chad was also battling him in Cleveland, and it was so bad. He did such a bad job. Uh, that piece of shit put me in timeout today while ranting about Shuley's family emergency. He couldn't take being called out uh, for being a terrible father. John's cat, Xavier. Yeah, he don't like that. He don't like a lot of truth grenades being lobbed his way. OP stuttering John and Kevin Brennan are the true podcasting excess of evil. Reagan would be ordering airstrikes if he were still around. King uh, of PA. Brennan. Love you, buddy. Bill in New Jersey with two bucks. Thank you, Bill. Chewy bringing great shows always. Much love for Carl, too. Ant is awesome. It's awesome to see you. Glad you're doing well. By the way, I think I could get Missy's number. Yeah, Keep hit dreaming. Me up. I got it. <laughs> Medical. Ant, can you do edibles yet? Oh, please. I hope I hope he can, because I can't wait to get stoned with that motherfucker. This is five. Uh, this five is for Carl. Carl, I'm an MLC guy. <coughs> if I go to Largo show, will I end up like Luca Luca Brazzi? <laughs> Has say great rules, my brother. Yeah. Uh, T.O. Hank, I heard a lot about you in AC. Same here. Yeah. And it uh, sounds like you're a great guy. But yes, come down to uh, Largo, Florida, March 22nd. 
And I, I hope that guys like T.O. Hanks, I think they do, realize this is all so silly. <laughs> Bro, yeah. people who are picking sides and like, I'm Team Brennan. Like, well, all right, you're yeah. you're rooting for a pro wrestler. You know that. Right? Exactly. <laughs> Just understand your leader's a fucking phony. So yeah. don't don't hang your hat on too so much obvious. serious shit. Have fun, you know? He hung out with Melton all day on Sunday. Yeah. And then I had to come back and be like, that photo, I didn't even know he was taking it. He took a photo of me and I was smiling and then I frowned. Okay. He tricked me. Every time I turned around, he hid. I didn't know we were hanging out. <laughs> yeah, it's so stupid. Kumia, where's the banana juice? Douche. Thank you. <laughs> Rebellion, awesome to see Ann on the show, but I'm curious, how'd you get Lance Bass from Sync, and what happened to him? Poor guy looks rough. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. I've had better days. That's definitely true. Truly, Carl and Anthony, like the uncles my parents told me to stay away from at the family reunion, but I'm here. We're over there in a circle, passing a joint around. Aunt Dice Clay, who is that farmer? At I'm not gonna do it because I don't do dice like he. Does, He's over so. here now. Yeah, I, it's, it's it's terrible. Good to see you, Aunt. Love to Shuli and Carl and the Reekins. Thank you, eating ass, eating ass. Legend. Appreciate it. This is Kumia Country, mega. Let's go, Wendy's cat. Uh, Karma's a bitch, and so is Stuttering John. <laughs> yes, Ernie. Hi, Anthony. I'm sorry. We we were we've been backed up all yeah. night. You guys have been amazing. So I apologize. Aunt, uh, Aunt have you heard uh, a, uh, the A I O N A reunion? Uh, I have not heard the. A have you heard this? I have. Yes, it's weird. I, all that shit. They had the Joe Rogan experience and stuff. Where it's just it's not good. Yeah, I saw the A I photos of O N A. If they sure. were black, that was oh yeah, cool. I saw that today. Too. That, that was, was funny. funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, if Stut Joe tried to torture Artie on his addiction and uh, on his skin, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he said, surely you should have died in the ho ho holochrome. I wouldn't either, Hunter. It was a faulty Google holochrome. <laughs> Anthony. Got a new Google Chrome. <laughs> Favorite AAF bit, 100,000 grand or the pizza shop in Green Bay before the 97 Pats Packers Super Bowl. Sorry, Joseph. I apologize for not getting to that, pal. Yeah, Opie waited was 90 very late with the hundred grand pit. Yeah, waited ninety minutes on hold to ask this last week. Ant, did you send that preemptive text to Opie about the book? I don't know. Sorry. From all from all the beloved chatters and all our beloved ones, a very merry skull to you, white trash losers. Oh, he's making a request. Hold on. We got it. We got it. Give me a second here. So much stuff. Hey, hold on one second. I got a little white trash loser. You guys, you guys like it? You know, hey, I was taking it to the butt. I like that. It's fun. I got furniture coming in next yeah. week. It's gonna be great. <laughs> you guys hear about this? I got new. Someday gonna make it to the top. Wait, where'd it go? Someday gonna make it to the top. And be a white trash loser. You white trash loser. Hey, hey. Hey, thank you, uh, Mojo. Anthony Cumia is a legend. It's great to uh, it's great to see you. You're okay. Yes, he is okay. He's doing better well. than ever. Yeah. In fact, we didn't bring this up to Anthony. I kind of wanted to, but uh, John let it slip this week that uh, he's got some heart issues. Get out of here. Yeah, you didn't see that. Well, I don't believe it. The guy's healthy as an ox. What are you talking about? <laughs> I played it at my show today with uh, Mersh. John talking about how he's got uh, some blockage and he's got to go see a cardiologist. And it's weird because he was like celebrating when Anthony had heart problems. So. Wow. Wow. So that chicken cutlet uh, diet isn't working out for him at night? Well, maybe he just started on that because that is a healthy regimen, obviously. Fried chicken. Cold fried chicken for lunch every day is definitely a great way to live. He oh. just yesterday challenged all of you to a fight again. <laughs> yes, he did. He did. No, you know what he literally said? You guys might not have this clip, but he literally said on his show, he told the doctor that he gets winded doing laundry. Yeah. I'm not joking. He goes, he goes I'm getting winded doing laundry. So they did an EKG and they found out I got some blockage. So, and yeah. he's he's also said on his show that he's gotten tired doing dishes. He's yeah. gotten winded. So, oh yeah, yeah. Did he did it take yeah. him like three reps to get through all his dishes one time? <laughs> I not had, good. I had to get a running start. <laughs> Anthony, Bobo or Stut Joe? Uh, I would say Stut Joe. 
I'll answer for Anthony. And can we get a little di- gay dice clay? He did it, Glory Days. He did it earlier. I'm over queer now. What an honor to use my fake membership to witness these three legends. Andrew, thank you, pal. I appreciate it. Thanks for it. rooting that through Argentina. We appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate it. Did Anthony beat Bob in <laughs> Call of Duty for tonight's spot? Uh, I don't know. I want Bob to play a video game so bad just to see the anger in that man. Oh, he would hate uh, it, yeah. Uh, to be the man. Woo! Thank you for gifting one, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, and say mind control. I don't know why he wanted to say that. Well, he does it. The, uh, what's his name's voice? The oh. professional wrestler, Minnesota governor. Uh, Jesse Ventura. Jesse yes, Ventura. that's right. By Follow yeah. the money. <laughs> And follow the money. Just take my money, guys. Love you, Ann. Thank you, Vitaly. Appreciate it, pal. Uh, we need a weekly show from you three. I have no problem with that. That'd be cool. Babylon Bill gifting one. Thank I you, Bill. Cock. All right, Mike. Good to hear from you. Damn, I was going to sleep, but no way that's happening now. Love and respect all three of you. Thank you, Blummel. Thank you. Appreciate it. BR, welcome back, Kumi. I've become a huge fan. Hey, Carla, ambushing us. With the Shuli hater OJ, not cool. Just kidding. To the greatness of the homeschool of the homeschooler Shuli. Thank you. Yeah, we had a good uh, point double point yesterday. Obviously, I would have liked to have Shuli on. He couldn't make it. I thought you know, OJ did great on there. I, I thought, did too. I did a good, uh, great job. Yeah, and I appreciate your fake family emergency stopping you from coming on the show, and uh, I thought we handled it okay. You know, I don't like confrontation. You know, I don't <laughs> like uh, arguing with people on air. That's not something I do. Hi, Shuli. Hi, Lance Bass. Hi, Alan Combs. <laughs> Dill Dog. Check it in. With also 10 gifted. Wow. Let's go. Nice. Suck my dick. Mm. Uh, I swallow cum. Thank me. Susanna, who gives what a shit? Who you? gives a fuck? <laughs> uh, you're getting tired, Frog. You're laying on. Oh, that was you. That was me. I'm sorry. That was my fault. I thought Frog <laughs> passed out on the fucking keyboard. <laughs> Hey, boys, and thoughts on Levy going after KB in AC. I sent him the video when I got it, and he just wrote back, hilarious. So he's a big Bob fan. He loves Bob. Politically, Shane is no Louis C.K. Well, as far as getting canceled, yeah, I I agree with that. Anthony is the reason why Shane Gillis is on SNL tonight. (laughs) I told this I told yeah. this story, but I, it, it is still funny to me. My wife, my wife might be watching this upstairs. I apologize if you are. But I was we were down me in too, Florida. Yeah. <laughs> we, were, we were down in Florida and I'm in my office working on stuff for a podcast. And my wife comes in. And she goes, do you see who's going to be on SNL? Shane Gillis. I go, yeah, no, I know. I heard about it. this is a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, no, I, I heard about that. She goes, that's crazy, isn't it? I go, well, yeah, I mean, he, you know, he had a whole thing with them. And then she goes on with our friends who are at the house going, yeah, we met, we met Shane Gillis at Chrissy Mayer's wedding. And then Shane Gillis had to come back to our place the next morning to get his clothes because he was drunk. And I go, well, hold on a second. Now he, she's gaslighting me. So I'm like, did I meet Shane Gillis? I don't remember any of this. She's mistaking <laughs> him with Gavin McGinnis. <laughs> She thought, great. she thought Gavin McGinnis was hosting SNL. And I go, now I know why you were so freaked out by this. Yes. Yeah. Gavin McGinnis would never be hosting SNL. Yes. You're right about it's how crazy that chicken. is. Whoa. Hey, oh, Bobby. Oh, yeah. Look at you, Angel. <laughs> What's Hello. up, kid? How was the show Hello. tonight? It was amazing. Uh, your brother was there. And girl. <laughs> and was he really? Yeah. Oh, look. Look at this. Shut Penis up. wrinkle. The slimy lawyer was just live with Carl's brother talking shit. As alpha <laughs> of the hamburger wolf pack, Carl must assert his dominance. Ant-Man in the house. <laughs> what is going on right now? I don't even Another know. one. Carl, your brother is on a live stream with Vince right now. He knows Vince is literally the devil, right? Anyway, my three fans, no BS. And watch Nick Fuentes, uh, Lynn from Lancaster. Thank but the you. whole thing is, Vince only acts like the devil on his show. He, he you know what I mean? He's uh, yeah. He only wants to ruin people's lives for the goof. Yeah, but well, he I really, don't he know really... about this. Uh, like you know, yeah. it, look, if he does, that's awful. But I, you know what I mean? He swears. You always know. You always know how good little uh, life that he doesn't. You always know how good Vince tongued some... Bob's asshole uh, backstage no. for free beer. <laughs> I just hit something. Oh, you can't hear yourself? What'd I do? What'd you do, you drunk old fuck? (laughs) 
Uh, Aunt oh, Shuli and Carl on the same show. <laughs> oh, my God. Korean Idol, Shuli Jew. Thank you. Doors Pinky, any way to get Stuttering John certified as a retard? Get him some money for rent. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, We, we could hear you that. the whole time. I, I hit I don't something know. and I couldn't hear. Whatever. This is how far <laughs> back Bobby got. I don't do it anymore. <laughs> Man, everybody crying. Everybody loves me. Everybody. I was listening to Kevin <laughs> crying like a bit. <laughs> Pat Dixon. I mean, come on. You, you, Pat, Pat, I know what you're trying to do, but stop. You're backing so far out of this business. It's amazing. Well, it's are, amazing they, are they... Are they... Are they are they complaining online? That doesn't sound like the guys. Oh, no, they're doing a show, and it was just it's so it's so pathetic, you know. So Kevin, I know Bob you, miss me. you miss me. I can tell you miss me. Bob Setter, yeah, on this Bob, or... can you hear us still or yeah, not no, hear us still? Let's do the Bob show. I want to hear what he's talking about. No, <laughs> it's just fun. funny. It's just funny. It's like right. fucking get over it, dude. Yeah, you no know, fucking men really fucking love me. <laughs> you know. Jeff, a fake I'll super I'll break chat. your heart and your fucking neck, you motherfuckers. <laughs> you pussy bitches. I love it. A fake super chat for a fake member. Hope TSA boys can make it to the fake city of Boston soon. I just, wanted to read that. Show, I just wanted to get it before Bob said uh, more stuff. All right, ready. Here we go. Uh, let's see. This oh, we're, we're still man. doing this. I don't know. He told me to start the show. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I'm fine with it. I'm here. I'm Glad here. you're feeling better, Ant. F's that show. Okay, let's go back then. Uh, Helen Town, who's ready, Shirley. I bet John doesn't know who Shirley Chisholm is. Do you, John? Shirley Chisholm. Chisholm. Who is Shirley Chisholm? Chisholm. You don't want me to tell you, do you? Chisholm. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, tell me. I don't care. Well, I don't know who is. former United States representative, first black female who ran for president. Oh, look at. See? see? And the You're first black woman to be elected to Congress. Wow. What's he Who's what? That's, that's First amazing. black woman elected to Congress. Too. This is the host of this political show. Has no idea who these people are. nothing about politics. It's nothing. crazy. What does major whatever army major look like to fucking drink that fucking John's drinking? Look how white <laughs> he is. I mean, you know what I mean? If you ever load that white, you're going to have a boy. <laughs> I made a whipped cream, John. All right. That's, cool. <laughs> that's awesome. That's amazing. See? Yeah. See, the guy was trying to be a troll, but now we all just learned something. Uh, <laughs> no, see. only right, you learned you. something. <laughs> Again, we're all as dumb as me, right, everybody? <laughs> he's, he's the best. Guys, I really appreciate it. Brian, uh, hit me up. I'll be over there. All right, I sent you an email. I'll Give see me you guys. All right, see you, Richard. Good to see you as yeah. always, brother. Everyone. All right, I'll see you guys. And now I'm just going to do this. I'll see you, right. <laughs> and now uh, this is how we break shows. And uh, this is what oh. we're going to do now to break. This is how we break shows? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shows. And it's just... He restarts now, I think. Right. Uh, uh, allow me to reset the topics. Carl sucks. Shoey sucks. <laughs> All right. Welcome back to the show, guys. Uh, got a little simple. I use my underwear to die. Use my underwear to die. Use my underwear to die. Use my underwear. My underwear. My underwear to die. Use my underwear to die. Use my underwear to die. Use my underwear. My underwear. My underwear. Use my underwear to die. It's amazing. He showed us. Got us again, John. Did he fuck up? No, he's starting all his show over. Now his music yeah. comes on. All yeah, right, idiot. we're back. Yeah. What an and, idiot. Uh, yeah, that wasn't a smooth. That was a smooth transition, <laughs> by the way. Seamless. Well, Nobody God. saw it. As I wanted it to go. Uh, let's see. But, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd talk a little bit dabble verse before, um, you know. Uh, <laughs> before you talk dabble verse? The lion tomato goes on. <laughs> I don't know. Do I like the lion tomato or the crying tomato? I don't know. I don't really give a shit. Well, you just oh. don't want to piss them off because you're a pussy. Right. You're a big pussy. Well, you know, both are awful, so take your pick. Because that's not my focus. Let's go to my focuses because this is... Uh, uh, <laughs> it's amazing how quickly they can come up with like like as I'm doing the show, 
they already have me up there. Uh, that's just a reflection of how dumb you are in real time, right. really. I mean, people can't wait. <laughs> they can't wait to put it up. Uh, 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 Christ. Uh, all right, not that. Right, that not, wasn't not, a good transition, right. but that's going to go good now. I got <laughs> that. This. No, that's not it. Not going to read that. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> I love this. Sorry, but it is the Brennan Bunch. The <laughs> Brennan Bunch. And today we became today. the Brennan Bunch. He never knows an entire song. He'll he'll wow. he'll get like two or three lines and then just mangles the, the last one. Oh. <laughs> First of all, I love me Mike Bochetti. I don't have a problem, Mr. Hineka. I am You don't, don't have any, any problem. No. He's he... back to in love again. Yeah. What was yeah, his he... nickname for Adam Hineker? Oh, uh, uh Twitchy or something. Google was it? Eyes. Googly eyes. Googly, Googly eyes. eyes. Yeah, but he, yeah. he also had a um, those eyebrows. Also, uh, I'm so, I'm blanking <laughs> out of it. Yes, then Skinnaker. Yes, that's what it was. Skinnaker, <laughs> then Skinnaker. How do we forget that gold? <laughs> hey, look at you guys. Yuck, he's look drinking out of his head. <laughs> oh, no. Army saying? Majors <laughs> in his cup. Honey, that's how funny are we, huh? That's uh, amazing. That's great. Uh, Joe Matarese, I, I don't have any problems with Mr. Zummock. Uh, <laughs> okay. And, you know, you I think Pat Dixon's a weirdo. And then you have. <laughs> Meanwhile, look at the picture of Mike up here, and he's going, "Pat's the weirdo." Mike, yeah. Mike's squeezing his nipples with a with a like a Nazi hat on. Ray and Stevie, two loser uh, puppets, and then there is their puppet master with that disgusting, <laughs> ridiculous yellow helmet on. So, I thought that was well done. So let's credit. Posted by, uh, I don't know, four, three, six, I don't know, I can't get. Then we have. Uh, oh, 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 this is. Oh, oh, I don't know if I can play that music. Fuck. That's me and Wayne. What the fuck? What a mess. I can't play the music, though. Fuck. All right. All right. So that's me and Wings. Just, I'm just going through the hack for Anonymous for me. Vet. Yeah, yeah, you're doing nothing. You're literally wasting people's time right now. Edit. Make sure it's. I like yeah. that every video he plays now, he has to yeah. he yeah. has to skim for shit porn before he gets played. <laughs> uh, Feel right, free to on. do this before you do a show, John. And then, yeah. uh, if you like a video, copy the link down and put it in your notes, and then paste it in the browser when you're doing your show. I don't know, just. Oh, here. oh, oh, Carl. Oh, Carl knows how to do radio now. Uh, uh, uh. Carl wants me to do work. <laughs> yeah, I oh. had uh, I had Mersh on from Revenge of the Sis today and I was uh. playing him. Stuttering John looking for a clip for three minutes straight out of Reddit. He's like, oh, where is it? Is it gone? Where is it? Hold on. Hold on. Wait, where is it? Hold on. Hold on. Three minutes. This goes on for uh, uh. and Mersh is like. Holy shit, just copy the link down, John. This is not hard to do before your show. Did someone delete it? What's... Uh... I mean, I, I almost quit this show a couple weeks ago with one of those three-minute blocks. Yeah. I'm looking for... I, go, I, I can't do this yeah. anymore. What am I doing with my life? This is this is horrendous. Yeah. Hey, there. I'm down by my career now. I love that one. Okay, hold on. Why, hello, Sweet Pea. I'm on the air. Is it Kevin? Well, I'll call you in a few minutes. And also, uh, I've been defending you against that idiot, Pat Dixon. Uh, Am I nice. closer to your pussy now? <laughs> can you can you get me closer now? Hello? <laughs> you Do you hear an echo down here? <laughs> He's trashing you, so... He's a fucking, he's a creep. How your tits doing today, by the way? Hey. I don't know, but I don't know. But, you know, he's a loser and a creep. But I'll, I'll call you after, right? Uh, <laughs> Speaking of losers and creep, I'll uh, call you back. Yeah, that was Kate Needy. Yeah, let's see this. Um, 
Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, Bob, wait, whoa, whoa. I just thought of the joke that Kumia's <laughs> girl said. She said, "Not oh. he's not Kate Meany. What was it? She did it in Chip's voice on the show. Kate Nicey. A- yeah, said. something like yeah. that. It was like she fucking should be hook. named Kate Nicey. It was so funny. Right. Call me a home run. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! <laughs> is this really true? Now, people, someone t- is that Rocco Burrow? Yes, he got arrested yeah. in Bergen County in 1938. <laughs> Way back in the 30s. Everyone knows that mug shots are taken in black and white. Of course. Oh, I like <laughs> <laughs> what a moron. I could I could understand if he goes, is that Sinatra's mugshot when he was young? That yeah. I can understand. They go, is that Tukey? Well that what that is was was photoshopped here, Sinatra. Right. It's right. a very famous mugshot. John should know that. Of course. <laughs> that looks like a young Tukey? Is that true? <laughs> Very young. Did somebody it's tell me if that's true? Yeah, if that was color, you'd see he's all green, so you'd make it out better. Is that really a young Rocco Burrow? <laughs> Holy shit. So he, another another <laughs> criminal in the Dabbleverse. Yep. Holy another shit. One. Chalk you it up it. to it, another criminal. It's amazing. I amazing. love watching John browse the internet. In real uh, time. It's so funny. He just falls for every fucking gag out here. It's incredible. So uh that's not what I this Reddit it really is the fuel for him these yeah. days. Like it is the fuel for him. It's the fuel for us, you know, watching him. Like you take Reddit out of his life. This I think this guy it's it's booze and Reddit. Those are his two necessities in life. Yeah, Reddit or forget it. <laughs> that's right. Wanted. Let's go to Shuler's Anonymous. Hey. That idiot. Who? This is the funniest. I, I, something I gotta play if he was really funny. Uh. Uh. Let's see. Let's get so some let's unbiased see. reporting out here. Okay. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. Whichever is. There we go. Okay. Literally let's the see. same this video. This is the shit way. Huh? Let me bet this. Hey, <laughs> drunk on cringe. Idiot Phantom Denny loves Shuli, even though he runs. Actually, it's anonymous. So here we yep. go. Let's see what Again, this is. He's playing this video completely out of context. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's he fun. doesn't set it up. But he doesn't know the context because it would require research and, mm-hmm. and learning about what you're about to play and, and what you're watching and this explaining. It's like eight months old. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's eight months that. old. You know, not quite as old as the bankruptcy, but also not quite as old as the high school dropout uh, video. This idiot has to say. Prick. You lost the argument against stuttering John. And Who gives day, a fuck? Who cares? Why are you striking up? channels like a bitch? Why why, why are you why, striking channels like a bitch? Ah, you need to let me let me ask oh. let me ask one question. Oh, you need to drunk on cringe. I gotta ask you a question. I gotta ask you a question. You lose an argument. Drunk. To a German, you f- I wasn't even mad till I heard the German accent talking to me. <laughs> and then right. once the German well, you know, I'm like, is this motherfucker going to ask for my papers Fucking or something, you know? Idiot. You, you, you're an English speaker. You're American. You lose <laughs> you're an, an argument English to a speaker. German speaker. <laughs> you are English speaker with woofer. 14-inch subwoofer. Speaking guy. No one will well, ever lose an argument to someone with an accent even... like you. No one will ever lose an <laughs> argument. Oh, obviously, you do because you lost an argument to stuttering John. And then sure. next day, and the next day, you need your crew with four guys to to do a. Oh, we take down stuttering John. Drunk, I got. I have one question for you. If you if you let me jump in, I've muted you. I Has he sold you. a buyback beer for five bucks? Let me I say yes. <laughs> he's still That's talking. Great. I just want to know if he's doing all these strikes. I love this guy. Prick. I love this guy. And then he and then he watches it again. He added nothing to that entire run through. Yeah. Added nothing. Gave his thought. No thoughts on any. Doesn't know what's going on. Let's watch it again. You lost the argument against stuttering John. I love it. Yep. Yep. Ah, that's the only part he wanted. That's it. That's the whole thing. That the that's the only reason that video was bookmarked in his yep. brain. Wow. What a sick fuck. Love it. Fuck. Uh, years and years. 
stomach flu, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's oh, also you doing. The, you're... All right, hold on. That's something I wanted. To hey, Seventy-five dollars. Uh, yeah. Uh, that was wonderful people. Hold on, let me do it years ago. Oh my what god, I, 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 I feel bad. I feel like I'm torturing Carl. I feel like I'm holding him hostage here and torturing him with. But it sounds shit. like somebody's changing his channel on an old radio. Yes, you know. Right. Yeah. Yes. Without oh the static god. in between. But yeah, yeah, this is old man using Reddit. Is what this is. <laughs> He's just scrolling through. It's auto playing videos. Uh, uh, he's up and down, up and down. <laughs> You hear Bob, you hear me, you hear a commercial. Like, you don't know what's going right. on. <laughs> uh, let me just do that for a second. There, you there go. was one I really wanted to get here. Yeah. They, it was the Shuli Math, mm. the Shit Network Math. Oh, God. This takes uh, forever. I know. I know uh, this clip. Oh, <laughs> no. Where we just get to the rest of the super chats. Fuck yeah. Fuck no, what a play. It's hilarious. Me, yeah. This is what John show is. He thinks he's killing it. Fuck. Fucking hell. hell. Oh, I fucking damn it. All right. <laughs> I just want to see what the fuck. <laughs> oh, no. You're fucking with me, right? Uh, okay. uh, 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 don't tell me they took it down. You got this, John. I believe in you. The one that I saw. Uh, Here we go. It was Shuli Math. The ch- uh, 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 oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, uh, I love this one. Uh, uh, oh, that's not it. <laughs> wait, wait. No. <laughs> okay. You know, 30 Sorry. seconds to go before he gets his plan. <laughs> Any luck, John? Okay, this is great. So now let me just. So what happens is <laughs> now when I'm doing the show, like you know, you, I'm talking a mile a minute, and yeah, I'm gonna make mistakes. Like the day I said one negative one plus negative one makes you know is a two negatives make a positive. But it's the other way around. It's like not. It's all not addition. It's multiplication. But like I'm. <laughs> that's not you me. Know, as I'm talking, yeah, I'm gonna make a mistake. <laughs> But the best is this idiot. Yeah, what was it? What was his math thing the other day? A negative one minus what was Two it? Two negatives make a positive. Right. That was yeah, 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 yeah. Wasn't that negative it? Negative one Ron? and negative one. Yeah, that's yeah. what he said. He said two negatives make a positive. Yeah. <laughs> this guy taught math. I mean, this guy taught multiple subjects. By taught, I mean sat there and scrolled through his phone on Reddit and Twitter. Silent Mike tries to correct me, calling me an idiot for making a mistake. And then, of course, he is the idiot. But this is what always happens at the shit network. They they think they're so smart until they're proven that they're not. It's the main reason why we're failing. Yeah. $75. I think wait, he wait, wanted... Can I, can I uh, stop? Hold on. Sec, is that he said that it was $9,000. Mm-hmm. Yes, eight fifty a month. It's yes. Uh, that would be ten thousand two hundred dollars. Yeah. So, oh yeah. Mr. Oh Men- yeah. All right. So there we go. Go ahead, Silent Mike. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Yes, eight fifty a month. It's yes. Uh, it, that would be ten thousand two hundred dollars. Yeah. So, oh yeah. Mr. Mensa, Mr. Well, Math yeah. Mensa, got that wrong. And when I get the answer wrong, I'm like, boom, and the kids love it. <laughs> so in other words, here's the three losers who are trying to say. That somehow I got it wrong. Now, I did, but <laughs> Silent Mike just. But, <laughs> but. Did the math. And look, he acts like he's so defiant. Like he's, he is so in the right. He's always and, a cunt looking fuck. Yeah. Okay. Get to know Mike. <laughs> I know. He's so proud of himself. And now let's watch how. He's the only one. Somebody's got to be proud of Mike. Yeah, well, he is. It'll probably be around 785. Yeah. 785. Okay. Oh, yeah. I get it. If that's right, then you, I'm going to have you. I'm pretty fucking close. I guarantee it. That's a great point. Kevin paid his guests more than Mr. Millionaire paid for his kids when he was working at the Tonight Show, and he still stopped paying and complained. That's amazing. Had a boy, Clyde, mm-hmm. another vet. Am I right, Mike? Now, imagine how pathetic you're closer. Be- you're closer. It's, that's 9,420. Oh, sorry. How come no comment about the super chat, John? Sorry, I went over yeah. by 400. And- there you go. There Silent you go. Mike 
makes the wrong mathematical <laughs> equation while he's All trying right. to beat. Stop, pause it right there. John's a fucking moron. He goes, Mike has the wrong mathematical equation. It's not an equation. It, that wasn't an equation that he said. And he was close. The fuck's the difference? Everybody goes, that's the wrong. He's not solving for X correctly. No one's solving for X, John. It's not an equation. Yeah, like they say, close but no cigar. Like some <laughs> things happen. <laughs> Right. Hey, did you guys hear about this cigar yeah, thing? This? Hey, you know, you can two it, negatives. Uh, wrong negative. equation. Hey. <laughs> hey. I got it wrong too, but he's also stupid, right? Negative one right? plus negative one makes an eight ball. Did you guys hear about this? <laughs> Eat me up. And they all agree. And look at Shitway's face here. Look at Shitway's face. Look how smug. Because now the Shitway is like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. All defeated. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fantasy in his mind. Uh, this is what he. This is what he's thinking about as he's slamming doors in that apartment of his at night. Silent Mike. What happened? What uh, happened? You fucked it up now. We <laughs> never recovered. Real... Would have known. We never recovered after this on the show. We really did. The whole show went downhill. Uh, the network. Yeah, it's over. Uh, yeah. We're going out of business. Yeah. Oh, stupid. Yup. Hey, man. this was the showcase showdown. You lose, man. You know? <laughs> it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> I <laughs> love great. that one. It I was despised, John. I'd wish he David Carradine. Thank you. <laughs> He'll never learn karate. Uh, <laughs> but this is great. So, so I love that whole fucking thing. <laughs> Watching Silent Mike. Yeah. Do the breakdown of me <laughs> and get it wrong. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, you can't write this, folks. It's fucking hysterical. You can't write this. And <laughs> yeah. so confident. Uh. That's why it's so funny, you dumb fuck. How do you get a wrinkle right here? And nowhere else you know what i'm saying like right in the center right under Weird. his neck it's like dirt or wrinkled or i don't know what it is but he's got that one spot uh... all right listen where are we at 34 28 on this i got i feel bad i'm letting carl go uh we'll finish up yeah. the super chats uh me and bob carl i love yeah. you brother thank you love so much you, for buddy. coming in two and a half yeah. hours tonight man guy didn't even uh want to do this i I told him. <laughs> That's not true. I told him I have pictures that could ruin them, so he's here. <laughs> and that's what friends do, and uh, I love you for it. Guys, Thanks. I always love doing Uncle Rico. So much fun doing this show. And I, I, I was watching John today, and the shit that he was saying about you should. I'm like, all right, I'm definitely going out Uncle Rico tonight. So thanks yeah. for the invite. WATBLive.com. Yeah. We're going to Largo, Florida, March 22nd. Come and see us there. And of course, whoarethese.com is the main website. Uh, thank you, Carl, so much, thank man. You, Everybody, uh, you know Carl, but if you don't, go go follow, subscribe, support, and check out what they're doing over there. They got uh, they got mm -hmm. they got the best show in the biz, man. They really do. It's phenomenal. Thanks, Joy. Thanks, Thanks buddy. Have See a good guys. night. Take care, buddy. Bobby. Thank God he's gone. Ah, uh, that. Come cunt. on, one more hour. Fuck uh, off. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're doing these chats and we're going to bed. All right. We had a, everybody had a killer night. You guys turning out tonight. Kumia coming through. It was great seeing him again. Uh, ORS at the movies. Fake for seven months straight. Always great to have Ant on. But mm. Carl, too, that's like frosting tips on the cake. Hello. Yeah. Hacka hacka. Love you guys. Thank you, ORS. Aaron, how you doing, pal? Anthony Kumi is here. No one told me we were having fancy company over tonight. Hi, Carl, you Sugar Ray Vanilla Ice Frosted Gal. <laughs> FKB, Tukey World Order. Thank you. Tim, Anthony, first-time caller, long-time listener. Could you please give me a... I want to see the boat movie. I'll get it next time for you, pal. Big thanks to Kumi. I was a late ONA fandom, but glad I finally got to hear your brilliance. Stay healthy. Tony, you're the man. Uh, Stuttering John is moving to South America? I seem to recall another <laughs> another universally reviled pe person who was rumored to have fled to South America. More Ant and Carl. Yeah. I think he's buying property. <laughs> he's buying Hitler's old villa out there. <laughs> nice hair, figure. Thank you, Carl's Frosted Tips. 
Uh, the trifecta of the dabble verse. Thank you, Thor's Pinky. Yeah, that was fun listening to on the way home. Uh, Anthony, do you have an opinion on Gino and Keanu's friendship with John? Uh, he does not. I'm watching American History X. Hi, Ant. Uh, <laughs> love you, Ant. Greetings from a European fan. My cat mouse. Thank you for the two pounds, eh? Ant, do you think Missy would like me? I don't think so. John's camel toe. I don't. Uh, Thor's pinky gifting one. Thank you, Thor. Muddle chicken. Just watch Vince the lawyer and Grant and Bob at the PA gig. Great. Thank you. Uh, Bob Lieberman gifting one. Thank you, Bobby. Of course. Uh, and did John ever shite in your tub? Mm, interesting. It was a full moon tonight, and I got through it. Oh, you're a trooper, man. I, I was in pain today, and it gave me migraines a little, but it's fine. I fought the moan. Yeah, hey, uh, from what I heard, uh, the crowd was phenomenal. Everybody yeah. everybody did great. Everybody had a great time, and Vince yeah. once again showed up for free beer. So everybody's doing what they're <laughs> supposed to do. Great to see Grant and wife hanging with Vince the lawyer tonight, says Mike V, the Cosby King. Yeah. Uh, and did Stuttering John ever ask to be the second seat on your show after Artie left? We will follow these up. I apologize. Vince, the lawyer's live stream caught Bob saying, fuck Zen. We don't need a fourth mic anyways. All because Zen I, I went about that. five minutes over. Levy is back on the bumps. No, no, no. <laughs> it's just that you got to watch your time. I mean, that's it. You know, you have a time limit. You, you have to do it. Save it for BS. We'll, we'll mm -hmm. all beat him up then. You crypt keep a huck. Fuck yourself back up to the iron lung or <laughs> hook yourself back up to the iron lung. Surely <laughs> still reading super chats. It's 1 a.m. I mean, it's <laughs> where are we? it's your guys. Julie can't be at the show, but he can be on YouTube. Uh -huh. Unbelievable. The nerve. Fuck Vince. The lawyer says AP. <laughs> what an epic panel. My nipples will be hard for weeks. Thank That's you. Geek true. chorus. You're good. Egg. H.P. Garcia, I bet it drives Stuttering John crazy that Ant and Shuley are successful without a college degree. Uh, try high school diplomas. Hello. Yeah. Bob Lieberman <laughs> with Ant's that? mug. That's oh you. God, I have big areolas. Yeah. That's it's Ant's mug Angel. shot. Yeah, that's great. Oh, we're good looking together. Yeah. There's another one. Look at that one. Wow. wow. Do I have to pay for it? <laughs> this is what a real man looks like, Carla. <laughs> <laughs> Rico, baby, looking great. Aunt, beautiful flag. Uh, Lady K, nice Lincoln Park look. So 2000s. Thank you. Uh, whenever not drinking beer, he drinks pure sugar. Isn't that interesting, right? You're 100% right. Chandler, COVID started in John's fingernails. Thank you, DC. Good to see you back in the verse, buddy. Oh, those nails are classy. Echo, <laughs> echo positive. Thank you. Those nails were something else. Hug up, please. I know, Mike. Rumple trench coat. The Stuttering John diet. I drink 20 to 30 beers a day. Then I have a sensible dinner. Interesting. It seems to work for him. I plug night in his lady hole. Does that make me gay? Carl, you certainly look gay. Anthony, you look great. Hope the fam as well, Shuli. Shalom Aleichem. Thank you, Velcro Melendez. J.R. Ryan, do 2024 libs decide between defend democracy and arrest the the, the goddamn president t-shirts each morning? Yeah, each morning they have two to choose from. Uh, you're looking great, Anthony. You too, Carl, especially with those frosted tips. Shuli, I love you and your crew. Bless you all. Thank you, Topo. We love you right back. Good dog. Got stuttering John to say, I want to blow Shuli the other day. Like an excited <laughs> child, I showed my wife who asked, why is your pick an old lady, and why are you spending our money on shit? Also, Aunt owes me a date. <laughs> I love it. Don't remind her business over there. John couldn't get a script for Ozempic from the free clinic. It's only 900 a month, a rounding error for a high roller like Stuttering John. Oh, well, he couldn't get it, huh? Just curious, that huge crease in Stuttering John's forehead is from what? We don't really know. Yeah, it's weird. You don't see he didn't wrestle around. He didn't wrestle professionally. So I don't know what that's yeah. about. Love you, Ant. Been a Compound subscriber for a long time, and I even like Gino's show. <laughs> Get a block him, ban him. 
Tracy, I recently learned that the Doghouse from, uh, show from from SF followed the O&A show from SF. Who am I thinking of? San Francisco? No. no. God damn it. The O&A show, after they were fired from 94.9 and there was some beef, I'd love to hear from Ant what the deal was. R.I.P. JV. I apologize, Tracy, but I promise you, next time he's on, just chat it and I'll ask him. You don't have to super chat uh the retaliators hey boys bought my tickets to huntington beach for the show and podcast epic uncle rico lineup aunt carl and Shuli are the uh, mount rushmore busting john's yams need this lineup more skull thank you retaliator look forward to seeing you in uh huntington beach a lot of celebrities from the Dabbleverse are coming out mm -hmm. i don't want to say names yet but a lot of Dabbleverse heavyweights are showing up and remind me bob before when we get out of here, just stick around because I got a, I do have a confirmed guest. Tell me what you think. Okay. About it, I don't want to bring it up yet because it's a surprise. And can we please get a quick Vince McMahon? Nope, he's gone. Stutcho claimed to be the Stone Cold or Rock of the Dalaverse. If I were uh, Conquistador number twenty-eight, I would still refuse to put him over. <laughs> Jobber for life. Let's go. So now uh, Shane Gillis is hosting SNL. What's next? Ant being invited to guest yeah. host on The View. The pendulum swinging back full steam ahead. Yeah. John is fucking disgusting. Hey, Ant, welcome back. Looking good, buddy. Thank you, Frank. Mr. Majestic, just got home from the show. Was amazing. They are still in the bathroom, Bob. <laughs> Who was in the bathroom? Uh, there was two women there uh, next to these Indian guys, and they said, uh, are you girls single? And they go, no, uh, I, uh, we're married. And I said, where are your husband? And they go, he went to the bathroom. And I just went into a whole fucking thing that for a, a <laughs> two dudes going to the bathroom together. And, yeah. yeah. And I and I and they was probably so embarrassed they never came out. Oh I no, <laughs> they never came out. That's funny. They just took seats in the back. They're like, we'll watch from here. There's I no go, point. They're definitely this. sucking each other's dicks. You know? <laughs> I mean, this it, it, the only thing. <laughs> Hey, Ant, can Anoga get some Don West? Yes, next time. Julie, Ant and Eminem, what a Saturday night. Ant and Eminem, what a Saturday <laughs> treat. Skull boys. Hi, Jeaner. Uh, Johnny Bukaki saying hello. Mr. J, glad you're doing it so well, Ant. You look so healthy. Wish you well, bud. Also, Carl, love WATP. And Julie, keep up the great work. Thank you, Mr. J. F. Young, ah, yes, the dues payer, Mark McGrath. And Tony two shirts and <laughs> Mark McGrath. Shane on SNL, Kumi on TSN. God is great. Dan, Stuttering John is depriving a village of its idiot. <laughs> You're, Dan, you make a strong point. Tony two shirts. When is Chip coming back? Can't wait. Loves Carl. Uh, love Carl's line of how Stuttering John, Mister Magood, his way into it, Magood his way into great jobs. How did he stay employed on The Tonight Show for 10 years, adding nothing to the show? I mean, I think they kept moving him around to different Found things, jobs. too. Like the first job. row, the first row, then the second row, yeah. then the third row. Uh, I love starting John's super unique Trump in cuffs shirt. He's a master political commentator who gives fresh, unique takes and in no way parrots the same old points. Agreed, hot body. Aku, Ant, do you remember Laszlo's show? I've been trying to get Shuli to listen as it's the first time I heard you defend yourself from Patrice uh, exploding as he slowly figures out you and Melinda broke up. I, I'll have to look into it. Ziggy Piggy, Ziggy Piggy. Unjawe, mm -hmm. thank you. Joseph Collins, the guys that walked almost 40 miles in the Andes after the 1972 plane crash had more energy than John. Uh, Jill Nicolini days were short-lived but great. Yes. Starting John's Forehead is brought to you by the letter T. Brian Regan, funny in front, crickets on the side. <laughs> You're right. The profile, John was saying, is stand-up wasn't good because they filled him from the side. Uh -oh. And they took out tags, and they <laughs> left in tags, and they took out punchlines. <laughs> Duke, 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 Duke of Turt, 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 Duke of Turt. Love it. Thank you. Uh, the Spank Bank is like a kaleidoscope in your mind. 
Yeah, but it's supposed to be past memories, I think. And great job hiding your racist past to get Stuttering John to come on your show nine times. Were you touched when Senator Melendez promised, if elected, to get rid of all yeah. your domestic abuse and other crimes? It's amazing what he can do. It's amazing that he didn't win with that platform. Yeah. Kumia, you bastard. I found Stuttering John because of you, and now I can't let go of the Dabbleverse. You did this to me. Damn you. You did this to me. I will never forgive you. Seriously, I wish you the best. Jay. Uh, Waterloo Melinda, Shuli, can you perhaps show Ant the Stuttering John piano computer? Ant, glad to see you vertical. Best wishes from Newton, Mass. Yeah, he got to see it. We still have just under 60 super chats to go. This Are you serious? Yeah. I gotta go to sleep. I'm All right, get out of here. I gotta go. get something. I gotta go ahead. Get some. <laughs> I'll see Love you, you pal. Morning. Love you, buddy. See you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye. The great Bob Bye. Levy, guys. Love you guys. Choo choo. Bye bye. Come on, let's do another hour. And then there was one. Get out of here, frog. I don't need you for nothing. I learned about the delicate art of negotiations by watching Walter Matthau in the taking of Pel Pelham one, two, three. Uh, Shuli, do Dusty cutting a promo on John's hand, Herpy. You know, a lot of times, brother man, we've been walking and talking, but we don't look. And now you look down. And you see, you see a little dot on your hand, brother. That's hard times. You know what makes hard times even harder? A hard dick, daddy. And you jack that dick so hard, you busted open your goddamn sword, Jack. <laughs> I can't. I lose it when you put up that picture here. Yeah, I'm the, you got the herpes in the woods, Jack. Will, oh, Willie Fistigash. Yes, that was a popular Riley caller. Anthony, what would Bob Murphy's commentary on Stuttering John's podcast sound like? Love, bro. Uh, own your first book. Can't wait for the next one. Uh, 495 Long Island Expressway. That's the Marauder. Great show uh, by the boys tonight. The return of Tony Two Shirts, and I got to see my man Grant tonight. He's so dreamy. Uncle Jack, we'll do it again. In March. Oh, Joe. Japolian. Jo uh, okay. Japolian stupid part. Stupid part. You know what we're saying. Jeff, gift in 10. That's what That's I'm saying. Oh. Uh, I swallow come. Thank me. What? Napoleon Boney Arms. That's good. Looney Tunes, the Looney Tunes critic. RDC Anthony Gifton. Let's go. Uh, I love Artie's story about driving with John to gig. Said something in the car stunk, and it turned out to be dirty diapers stuffed under the seat. Jesus Christ. Uh, Jeff with another 10 bomb. Let's Stop go, like Jeff. Uh, I swallow come. Thank me. Come on, my face. <laughs> Helmush. Uh, wait, that's Jeff again. Sorry. Helmush. Julie, down to starters. Down two starters, turns to Carl and Kumia. That's what you call a bullpen. I love it. Boom! Uh, listen, they were available. Dude, and, that was funny. Uh, I texted you and I was like, let's do something tonight. <laughs> kind of thinking I meant me and you. And you're like, yeah, I got Kumia and Carl already. I was like, eh, well, I guess I won't be necessary. Yeah, I wanted to enjoy my night. Stuttering John almost has upside down cross on his forehead. Uh-oh, you know what that means, mule. Uh, his tags are like the tags on clothes. They just make me uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, what is this? And Anthraxony? Help us leaves. We fake for go. Man, fuck you, man. Surely the Semitic scorpion keeps the money. It's in his nature. I like at the beginning of that song where he goes, and the frog's like, hey! Uh, if this is all fake, can someone tell my bank? Because money is missing, and I'm pretty sure it's funding Shuli's hat collection and tunnel construction. Thank you, Strudel. Oh, Eric. What? Hey, Shuli, i got to tell you something. So, I was at the show tonight. Is, hold on. Are you with Vince right now? Yes, I am. Uh, let's get back to the chats here. 
Fuck you, Stuttering John. Some people, uh, some people of us love Shuli, Bob, Mike, and Zen. Thank you. You're the guy, huh? You can see the stupid oozing out of his face. Uh, so TSN isn't making money, but Shuli is hoarding all of it. I'm so confused. My head hurts. I know. That's been the argument. We're, make, we're not making anything, and we're not paying anybody enough for the nothing we're making. That round thing he showed is called a buzz ball. They are small mixed drinks. See, I thought it was like a coffee thing. I didn't know that was alcohol. Yeah, they sell those at like the gas station. God, everything in his life is just booze. Booze and lose. Reels. That's a winner. Stuck Gift my dick. Ah. Ah. I swallow cum. Thank me. Travel in the hospital. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what is a swilly boy? Two bucks. Thank you. Boom. Uh, is it safe to say Ant's dad was a better father? I mean, look at the, look at the finished product. You tell me. <laughs> John thinks that Germans bombed Pearl Harbor and Marty McFly was the king of rock and roll. Lewis, I think you're right about both of those. Uh, good evening, guys. A queef in the night. Good evening to you. A queef in the night. It would be great content drama if Stuttering John and Kate hooked up, then broke up and started trashing each other. Imagine the beautiful dumpster fire. Well, here's the beautiful thing about this, G-Rob, is that can all happen without her having to fuck him. Like, he's already in love. So all she's got to do is turn on him. And then, and then that's a wrap. That's it. Uh, if Patton was alive, he would slap the taste out of John's mouth and donate 20 subs to TSN. P.S. Hi, Aunt. A-W-O for life. Clyde, proud vet, my man. Love you, buddy. I'm amazed uh, of the A-listers that goes to his shows. <laughs> Isn't that great? Kumia, would you let Shuli hide in your attic? He would, but he'd be like, when they come and check it out, he'd be like, so what's going on? Uh, how you guys doing? Uh, you know, subtle. So he wouldn't know. They cut out the tags from my stand-up, and in case you don't know, a tag is like, it's like a tag, you know? When you have, like, a tag. Oh, that audio of him explaining a tag is something I will never forget. Brian, does your mother like anal? <laughs> Fucking racist. Uh, Stuttering John, hey, Ami Major, send me a picture of your mom. Uh, Allie and Tony do improv with a membership on her my table. Ah, oh, this lovely lady. So glad you fellas did a show tonight. Hope everything is uh, going well with both you and your family, Shuli and Carl. Oh, and hey, Don and Joe, Brog, we love y'all. We love you right back, Allie and Tony. They about to have a TSN baby, yo. Carl, you're a beast, but I do miss Bob. Ah, oh. who doesn't? Who has thinker lens? You, thicker lens. Who, uh, uh, you or Carl? I know, that's a good question. We should have a lens off. Next live, DabbleCon 2, the lenses come out. Love that some of the heavy hitters showed up tonight. Keep that narcissistic on the back five. Uh, good work, boys. Long live TSN. Jeff, thank you for all, all your donations and generosity tonight. Uh, another one, Jeff. I mean, come on. Get up your knees, Dave. You're embarrassing yourself. Okay to skip Super Chance while Ant was here. Great show. Yeah, I, I feel weird because... You know, you guys were so excited and, and putting up so many super chats that it, if I just would have gone through them, it would have been over an hour before we got to any clips. And, you know, I know Ant likes to laugh at John, and so do I. And, you know, Ant's not here for the super chats reading. He's here to fucking goof on that idiot. So thank you for understanding. Was that the show Bob Kill, Vince the Lawyer is taller than Zen? And All right, Vince. I got you. <laughs> Nobody, nobody's complimenting Vince in a, in a, Super chat, but Vince, I still got nothing. Good night, fellas. <laughs> you, you don't need nothing here, pal. We got you, Carl. You seen my pisses? You will, you will tonight. Love you, Bob, the great mule. Follow him on Twitter. There's no follow like him on there. Can I get a whap drop? Wop, whip, wop, whip, wop, wop, wop. That's some wet ass pussy. Damn right you can. Carl uh, Grant at VTL, like best friend. Again, Vince, try and try. He, he, I didn't get to these, so then he had Eric call in. Trying hard, man. Hey, now, Bob. He's gone, too. 
Bob ate blue cheese out of Mike Morse butt cheeks tonight. I hope he kicked him in the head afterwards. Yes, Bob's here. We're going all night. You would think. And then he's like, I got to go to bed. Bob, eat some cookies. You look sleepy. He's crashing. He's had a long day. He worked hard. Guy fucking brought the house down. Let him sleep. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to slap the slobber out of that slobber box's mouth. John's an easy work. RP, your legendary status now. In the compilations of drool and spit, you will live forever. Allie Gifton 10. Suck my dick. Oh. Uh, I swallow cum. Thank me. By the stench of me. What's wrong with you? You got baby food to buy, woman. Calling Kate sweet pea isn't creepy. Stuttering John just messed with Popeye's kid. Yeah. <laughs> sweet pea. Frankie Gifton 10. Suck my dick. Oh. Uh, I swallow cum. Thank me. Hello. Hello. Nerdy shirt gift in one. There's four bucks. Uh, what do we got? Tuck Willie gift in one. You dumb fuck. All right, we're down to the final 10, I think, here. Mike's multiplication was right. It changed from 850 to 785, thus the two numbers. Or am I missing something? Stuttering John is so dumb. FSJ, FVTL, FKB, FRD. You miss nothing. Uh. <laughs> No, I don't have any ten nine stories. Half Indian, half Japanese. I don't. How much of the Stern show is actually reality? I know there's a certain amount of shtick, but when I see the hip, <coughs> excuse me, the hip. I the never had a bad. desire to go into the middle. <coughs> uh, the, as uh, far as uh, uh, as far as the hypnosis stuff, uh, I would tell you if it's bullshit. I've hung out with Ronnie off air. I've I've traveled with him i've spent time with him he's not that good of an actor same with sal um those guys went under those guys went under it's what made it so fucking funny <clears throat> and richard was the best because <clears throat> richard would be like high after it and he'd just walk around like his eyes would be half shut and he, i feel great i used to love hypnosis richard he was such a fun hang uh, but you know, everything, everything's got a little fucking bullshit in it. But as far as the specifically the hypnosis, I know Scott, uh, Schmarin, uh, that's all legit as far as I know. Uh, Ando, thank you. And Gift I one. Uh, my finger hurts. John stroke hand. I'm so sorry, but thank you for being a member for two months. Uh, the Bob sequel made my night. Yes. Jeff, for the frog, good job tonight. Great job, frog and discount. Still here. Uh, look at him. Gifting another five. Joe, producer Joe? Yeah, that guy. Hey, mumbling Nick. I love this dude. Member for three months. You Thank dumb you, fuck. Shuli put me over with Carl and Kumi. I love you all. You got it, Weasel Tails. I'm on it. I'm on it. Amazing how afraid Shuli is of Vince. Surprising. Terrified. Uh, went to use my membership anniversary chat and accidentally hit send before typing anything. Only I can fuck up a free super chat. It's all good, Nick. We love you, pal. Whenever someone mentions tags, I think of Sal's comedy tutor. Yeah. And we are caught up. Holy moly. Three hours. Man, you guys are something else. Let's keep going. Uh, let's see. No, I'm just kidding. All right. We are oh, you at... Son of a bitch. I was so happy for a second. I know. I like crushing your dreams. Uh, listen, we will be back tomorrow, Sunday. So, you know, we'll be back with uh, Rico tomorrow. Uh, I, I can't thank you guys enough for coming in here. Thank you to Anthony Cumia and Carl. Uh, go support them. Can I just mention prizepicks.com slash Rico? Uh, they will match any deposit up to $100 over there. Prize picks. They're a sponsor here at the network. So uh, if you like what we do here, hit like, hit subscribe, do all that stuff. But also if you could support with the sponsors, it helps us out, keeps them around. And uh, that helps everybody here, all the boys in the back and everybody. And also mintmobile.com slash Shuli. Uh, check out mintmobile.com. Get a, a phone deal for, what is it? 15 bucks a month. But who's offering that? Nothing, no one. So check them out. Ryan Reynolds is involved and he's hot. Whoops. Is this still on? I'm sorry. 
Love to the frog, to Zen, to Mike, to Bob, to the whole crew here. Thank you to all of you, most importantly. Have a great night. Thanks for staying up late. I got to go weld something. We'll see you guys. Bye. That's all for the Uncle Rico Show. That's all for the Uncle Rico Show. Grab one more beer and shout out. Skull! Good. Bup, 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 bup.